All these bitches want my dick because your boy's so mysterious. These bitches want your dick because it's episode 69, baby! <laughs> yeah. Let's get we done this. We could have done this one in person, but old <laughs> Dougie boy decided that we're, uh, well, that our COVID restrictions are going further. Well, they're actually <laughs> causing, they're actually causing a statistical, like, drop. So they seem to be working. Yes, unfortunately. It's just that it's like, remember the first lockdown? We were yeah. all like, yeah, no, this is fine. Yeah. We'll live through it. It's fine. Yeah. But now that we're in our third yeah, we're in we're in month eleven. Of, <laughs> yeah, no, but like we've gone, they've gone. We went like we did, we had like a minor lockdown before, yeah. and then they were like, "Nah, everything can go back open." And then they were like, "Never mind, close everything down again." But only for the Peel region, which is where we live. Mm -hmm. Okay, not only for the Peel region, but the higher like, higher pop, to, like the GTA, the Greater yeah. Toronto Area. So. We've just been stuck inside this whole time. Yeah, honestly, there well, are more... Well, not seeing friends and stuff. There, there's more episodes of this show that are <sighs> remotely recorded than there are ones that are in person. Mm hmm I think. Probably. And when we started doing the remotely recorded ones, I almost wanted to quit because they suck. <laughs> hey, I, I think some of the early rec remote ones were good. Uh, specifically... Uh, but... They're Does like this... getting, they're better now, but like yeah. back then, like back in during that time, I was like, I hate this. <laughs> yeah. This uh, I will say, yeah, I think, gay. I think this show might have peaked at like, does this sex cult validate parking? Was yeah, a good app? That was Wasn't that like app. the third? <laughs> My first? <laughs> no, no, your third, your first episode was uh, save that story for the My Mom's a Bitch cast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, Nathan. Yeah. What I'm trying to think of a way to phrase this, and before I just outwardly tell this story, yeah. have you ever played a video game and gone like, "Wow, this game is very similar to this other game, like Halo and Destiny or uh -huh. Medal of Honor, like that one that came out that EA made, like the most recent reboot." The one that's like a like a Battlefield game. Yeah, but it's also very Call of Duty esque because it was made by Call of Duty people. Mm -hmm. Or the future, like future warfare, whatever the fuck that that modern warfare game was that COD people don't like, but a lot of other people like that has like Kit Harrington as the villain. And oh Titanfall. yeah, 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 yeah. Because that one's like the most like Titanfall. <laughs> yeah, or like, you know, uh, these are all examples. Yeah, yeah. Or, or like, like, or like, uh, <laughs> Marvel versus Capcom three, and like I don't know, Dragon Ball Fighters, because they're both super fighters. Uh, yeah, hyper fighters. Um, hyper fighters, that's the word. Or like, you know, playing like Lords of the Fallen after playing Dark Souls. Yeah, or, uh, fuck, I don't know. Neo with like Sekiro. Dark Souls. Also, well, Dark Souls. Neo, I think Neo came first. Yeah, yes. Sekiro feels like Neo. <laughs> but also, it doesn't because Neo's a yeah. good game. Um, but never once in my life have I ever been playing the most classic fighting game of all time. Street Fighter 2? Street Fighter. No, okay. well, we were playing Street Fighter 5, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, in the franchise. And yeah. I've been going, and I was playing it and going like, man, I don't understand how I don't like Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat are the same game. Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> <laughs> <They're> so, <laughs> last, last week, after everyone else got off, the only people, like, because we, we, we were gaming that after... Uh, on Saturday last week, like okay. we played Red Dead together for a mm -hmm. bit, and then Chris and Kyle got off like immediately. You were on for a bit more, and then got off, I think. And then it was just me, Stevie, and Blake. We played yeah. Red Dead for a bit more, but me and Blake literally kept playing games until like seven a.m. So I got him to download Parsec, and I was like, "Well, I have all these fighting games. Let's fight." And he's like, "Cool. Do you have Mortal Kombat?" I'm like, "No, because Mortal Kombat sucks." <laughs> It's a bullshit game that has like <laughs> yeah, well, bad characters and I don't want to play it. Also it has a dedicated block button and I don't want to fuck with that shit at all. Well Mortal Kombat is the Super Smash Bros of fighting games. But Smash Bros is a fighting game. So Nope. <laughs> we were playing so first we played Guilty Gear and he's like 
Actually, he also said that was like Mortal Kombat. He's like, I don't understand how you could like this, why you would like this game. Well, because. And not Mortal Kombat. Because it's like, got one it's, more button. It's, well, it's got one more button. It has the concept of air dashing. Yeah. It has also, air, it's just, also, it's just visually gorgeous and. It's ex- incredibly better. But because Blake yeah. had no idea how to play that game, I just kept yeah. hitting instant kills on him for fun. That's fucking mean. <laughs> the thing you literally can't do to anyone who knows how to play that game. Yeah. Uh, so then after, I'm like, all right, you want to play Street Fighter? Because he's like, I don't get Guilty Gear. I'm like, all right, cool. So let's let's play Street Fighter because you at least are somewhat aware yeah. of Street Fighter. He's like, cool. Well, so we're playing Street Fighter. And like an hour into playing, he's just like, yeah, I still just think this is exactly like Mortal Kombat. There is two additional buttons. There's Yeah, there's t- there's two additional <laughs> buttons. Um, and just there's like... No block button. It's all yeah, the whole no, back to block shit. Yeah, whole back to... Hold back to block. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, Street Fighter, I don't play a ton of Street Fighter, but, like... I don't think I, Mortal I could Kombat see him... has quarter circles. No, Mortal Kombat does not have any... Uh, Mortal Kombat's only motions are, uh, like, two-direction inputs. Yeah, and also, the inputs are, like, fucking stupid, because... Or, like, it's like, let me do a fatality. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, light jab. Oh, no, I failed it. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, but, but I think Mortal Kombat, yeah, doesn't really use a lot of motions. I think it's mostly, like, left, right, and then button, you know. Mortal not, like, Kombat has, like, the... I, I, <laughs> I don't like Mortal Kombat. I don't like Injustice. I think they have the worst neutral game out of all of the fighters, because it's not neutral. It's, like, spam your ranged move you get hmm. across, like, the map. I don't know. <laughs> the stage. Yeah. And, like, just watch out because Scorpion will do that thing where he, like, I'm going to leave this side of the screen. Whoa, I'm on this side of the screen now. That's called a... It's just called the reverse cross-up, I guess. I guess. It's like a cross-up without actually crossing up. Yeah. It's just a teleport. That's what we yeah. could just call it. We could just call it a teleport. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think, like... I mean... Obviously, DBFZ has the insta teleport so it's not like a foregone conclusion that that's like a inherently tell uh like an inherently bad thing yeah but, but um, dbz has like this little like hit stop that happens when mm-hmm. you teleport so like you have time to be like oh i can bl- i should block the other way now that's such a fun move honestly just to do the nothing yeah. personnel kid is so fun it's in that game the best and also yeah. the fact that it uses meter yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. You can't just keep doing it forever. No. It's not like that one clip from Bleach. <laughs> where fucking Byakuya and the other guy just keep, like, flash-stepping behind each other. <laughs> Ian, we're not allowed like, to talk about Bleach on episode 69, okay? <laughs> Come why? on. It's the best anime. <laughs> Come on, we have to at least pretend to be people who have sex. It's episode 69. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just love getting all up in the puss. How is... I was really hoping... I googled Bleach, hoping to, for, like, the top... Like, you know, like how Google gives the reviews. I was yeah. hoping at least one of them would be 6.9. <laughs> but somehow, these people with horrible taste gave Bleach a 7.8. 7. 7.8. 7. 8. That's generous, and, and guys. If you only watch up to um, these, the Soul Society arc, I would... Yeah, Bleach is a 7.8. Uh, past that, no. <laughs> yeah. Um... I still enjoy want, Bleach. I'm not going to be act like, oh, Bleach is all bad. <laughs> uh, do you want to know a, a The TikTok? anime is bad. Do you want to know a TikTok that triggered the fuck out of me? What? Uh, I saw a TikTok where somebody was like, ranking manga versus fucking My Hero Academia. <laughs> and like, he rated My Hero Academia as better than fucking like, or it was like anime and manga. And, and he rated fucking My Hero as better than like, Mob Psycho as like equal to fucking Cowboy Bebop. As, right, like that one's wrong. Like, Mob Psycho is, uh, I would say, is an opinion based thing. But clearly, uh, this guy yeah. already has shit opinions. No, it's like it's like eight things, and it's like it's better than Bleach. And I'm like, okay, I'll agree. To yeah, you. My Hero Academia is better than Bleach. It's That's absolutely fair. better than Bleach. I mean, it hasn't had a chance to, you know, jump straight into the shit, and it still could. Uh well, it in the manga, it's. <laughs> It's at the point where uh, it's past the point where Bleach, like Bleach, got real shit after the Soul Society arc, 
which mm-hmm. is like a hundred chapters in, where my hero is three hundred chapters in now, and I personally I don't think so. I think they're still it's still good. Yeah, they haven't they haven't seen a massive decline in quality. Yeah, like yeah. Um, but like honestly, again, like Mob Psycho, especially if you compare. Obviously, the the anime are both by the same company, but like. Mob Psycho's yeah. anime is even Better. if you don't love the story, the visuals are fucking incredible in Mob Psycho. Yeah, um, Three, and oh, they literally just hit three hundred chapters like two weeks yeah. ago. The Mob Psycho manga is actually good too. If you wanna, if you find it online, even though it's like one, one isn't a great artist, but he's he a knows, very bad artist. <laughs> but he knows layouts really well, so like yeah. the, it reads really well. One Punch Man needed to be redone. Yeah. <laughs> Mob Psycho, eh, it's not necessary. Yeah, it kind of works with its its bad yeah. art. Um, I f- uh, I said I found a TikTok that for a moment like triggered the boomer energy in me, but then I was like, you know what? No, they're they're at that age where they would actually probably be learning about it. So it's just this it's this TikTok that just says Gen Z kids have no knowledge of significant historical figures slash events, and the guy's a middle school teacher, and these kids sound like they're in grade eight. So yeah, no shit. They don't know. They're yeah, in but school. The, the, but it's like one of the, the he's. They're talking about Helen Keller, <laughs> and the the girl's like, was it that that Nazi terrorist? <laughs> and he's I, just like, so one second. Oh, she said, isn't that it? Wasn't Helen Keller that dude Nazi terrorist? And he's like, all right. So one, Helen Keller was a Nazi. Two, she was a terrorist. Three, you thought that she was a man. And then a person goes, no, Helen Keller was a fictional character who was deaf and blind. He's like, fictional? I mean... But, like, in in middle school... school. Yeah, in middle school, I would say Helen Keller, Hitler, and Frank, that's middle school learning time. That's, like... Yeah, I don't think I knew about any of it. I fuck... Clerks has fuck... Clerks 2 has ruined my life. Because every yeah. time someone says Helen Keller, I'm like, oh, yeah, the gir- the Jewish girl in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I, that's what I think that like this weird energy that Kevin Smith has put out has yeah. this girl has probably never seen clerks, but somehow she, she brings two topics almost together. <laughs> yeah, because she thinks Helen Keller was Hitler, but. That's like the thing in my brain where I think Helen Keller was the Jewish girl. Uh, I know yeah. she's not, but like it's just it's it's so funny in my head still to think that it's the wrong person. Yeah, uh, but like yeah, grade between grade six and grade nine is around the time that you learn who Helen Keller is. Maybe yeah. So it's not. I'm sure the guy posted it, just being like, "Well, these kids sp- are speaking with." such confidence about who these people are but they're so wrong being wrong with confidence is Is actually the best way to succeed in life yeah oh man if you say something wrong even if you know it's wrong and you can say it with absolute certainty that you're right people will believe you so last night was fast february uh week three yeah the and it's uh, in the seventh movie is when jason statham shows up yeah. And I, for a solid, like, two minutes, convinced Gavin that Jason Statham's character in this movie was Chev Chelios, his character from Crank. I said they were the same person. Why? Just that Chev Chelios, because it's funny. <laughs> it's not my joke. Straight his up. Name, his name is Hobbs and or Shaw. It, his name is, his last name is Shaw. His name is Deckard Shaw. His, his brother name, is Owen Shaw, the villain of Six. His name is Hobbs and or Shaw. He is Shaw. Mm-hmm. Hobbs is The Rock. Nope. Well, they're both named Hobbs and or Shaw. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. So, anyway, hey guys, welcome to the Media Hole Podcast. This is a weekly podcast that I, Nathan, do with my great friend and co-host, Ian. Uh, and we love to talk about movies and video games and comic books and television shows and all the like. Um, yeah. What a... What a rambly open we just did. Yeah. We have fun with it. We, sometimes we like to have fun with it. You know, we're Guys, loose. We like to have fun here. <laughs> we're loosey-goosey on here because it's episode yeah. 69. Uh, 
Also, it's been, <laughs> have you seen? We like do to you, do the intro fifteen minutes into the app. Yeah. yeah. Do you uh, do you ever watch VTubers? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Do you know who Corona is? Um, dog, the dog. One. She's yeah, so the good. The dog, yeah. So there's a. The, have you seen the clip? It's on TikTok. Of it says Israeli government receiving their yearly thirty eight million dollars from the United States, and it's the clip from her playing the first Mario game where she's in the underground. She's like, secret money. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ugh. That's good. I mean, honestly, TikTok is once again becoming amazing. It was like, yeah. it was shit when it came out. It yeah. got good when like, oh, now the comedians are on here. Like the old school Vine kids who haven't done anything since Vine. And they're just like, I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah. I like this format. I can do, a, it's a slightly longer joke. I want to look at my giant spoon. My name's King Batch. <laughs> He, he did another one that showed up on my feed and I was very annoyed where it was a giant anal swab. Hmm. Because his buddy's like, you get coronavirus tested recently? Because you know how these LA influencers think. It's like, oh, I've been tested recently. It's fine. I'm going to waste money. Yeah. Yeah, so he's like, oh, I got this new one from China. It The results are instantaneous. And he just pulls out a giant cotton swab and he says, it's inserted rectally. And King Bash is like, ah, no, and then leaves. And that's the joke. Don't you get the joke? It's gay panic. Yeah. But also, that would be the based off of the size of it. It was comically huge. It was like me, if I was like, Nathan, I need to stick my head in your asshole to see if you're sick. Alright, dude. Alright, yeah, sure. <laughs> but yeah, then we got then we got um, e-girls dancing all the time, and that was you know nice what? to look at, but not good content. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I still... If you, we, I, enjoy, we were, I was, ex, I, enjoy I was exposing myself last night because while we were waiting for Anthony to get back from getting food so we could start the movie, I was, we were just going through my likes and they, I went to skip over an e-girl and Gavin was like, no, 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 go back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to hide your shame here. Get out of there. Uh, my following page is like, joke, joke, guy talking about Marxism. <laughs> You, um, I had to unfollow this this Marxism guy not because he's like terrible or anything, but just because he's he's very frequent poster, and I'm like, uh, all right, yeah. I don't need that to was like that for much. a while that that Moose Zero guy. I was like, oh, maybe I should oh, yeah. unfollow you because it was like, oh, this is getting too he, often and things I don't care about. He is great. I also like pa uh, the Panda Red. He does comic book stuff too. He's great. I don't know him. Uh, have you ever seen? He does Boston a lot of like be a man. <laughs> What the Boston what? Have you ever, Boston be a man? Oh, no, I haven't. It's it's just this old Boston dude who just says like, oh here wait. <laughs> it's <laughs> he just uh, does. Holly showed this shit to us, and we were fucking hollering. It's just this guy who just said uh, that it gives these advice, but it's like. Don't when don't talk when you're getting your hair cut. Sit there and be miserable. Be a man, and that's how it ends every time. That's funny. And um, some of them are like, if you, uh, don't go grocery shopping for your wife, <laughs> go to the bar, grab some brews, be a man. Yeah. Now, if he, your wife's sad, leave. Go to the bar, be a man. Now, Ian. So he he lives in Boston, right? Uh, probably. His name's Boston Be a Man. I thought it was Boston so, Be Man for a long time. Could you remind me for a second where we live? Toronto? You yeah, know, we live in a society. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Also, in the we don't live in Toronto either. <laughs> in the fucking trailer for the Snyder Cut that came out early this week it feels like it's been eight months since this trailer came out this is this uh, has been a long week yeah but J joker in the trailer actually says the line we live in a society yeah he and now I have, no longer has ta tattoos and looks ugly as fuck yeah um and he's some for some reason still wearing a, a swat team vest like he wore at the end of the movie suicide squad if they was it okay i did not watch this trailer <laughs> Because I want to go into this movie blind. I would like to be blinded. Is it purple? Huh? Is it a purple vest? Like, did they at least try and do that? Or is it like, no, it's just a SWAT vest. It's a SWAT vest. The entire scene, if you can't tell by the picture, is orange. Mm, lame. Yeah, like, 
It's it's a scene that takes place in the nightmare from uh from you remember Batman v Superman when he has the nightmare? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's, it's this is, in that universe or whatever. Also, do you think the, so do you think he got his tattoos removed by Superman with his crazy heat vision? He was like, I don't like this nonsense anymore. I'm an old town boy from the down Midwest. I'm going to laser that shit off your forehead now. Uh I you know what I bet it'll never be mentioned. It will never be because that was David Ayer's decision. Or, except or it probably was not. Simultaneously, it'll be exactly one full hour of screen time that means nothing. Yeah. Also, I believe I have only heard this, but it sounds like this is not the Snyder cut. This is the Snyder reshoots. Like there's actually oh. scenes have been added to this. Oh yeah, Joker it's wasn't not in like, the original oh, cut. Yeah, it's 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 not the fucking like. Oh no, they just edited it poorly. That's what made the movie bad. It's like, no, you made a bad movie, and you're blaming the studio for your bad movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me, we know what happened with Justice League. This is all all info that we have. It's you know Zack Snyder worked on started work on Justice League before BVS came to theaters. Um, yeah, and then BVS was critically, uh, you know, a disappointment, and a lot of people criticized how there's no real comedy to it, no lightheartedness. So then they order reshoots, right? A bunch of reshoots for the movie. This is Zach. You got to add more fun stuff to it, and Zach does a bunch of reshoots, and then he either leaves or is fired from the reshoots, and then Joss Whedon does, uh, like reshoots on what would be like an additional hour like of the two hour movie that we saw that uh like an hour and a half of it was joss whedon directed and then 30 minutes of it is snyder directed um yeah snyder still got full credit because joss whedon said hey it's not my movie i just helped <laughs> uh but Zack snyder was <laughs> like oh it's a dog shit movie i my vision was this and yeah. we didn't shoot some I of this swear, stuff in my version. I swear, guys, it would have been good if it was just my version. Yeah, don't worry, guys. Well, remember, in 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 Zack Snyder's uh, depiction for Batman v Superman, he said ahead of time, yeah, it's going to be really dark. You never know what could happen. We could have Batman be raped in prison in my movie. <laughs> it's mature. Yeah. It's mature and for adults. You know, yeah. like Batman is for adults. Yeah, and absolutely. not for children. <laughs> What's what a fucking hack at this point, like, dude. Uh, like, do you know what? Do you know what the movie Justice League didn't need? What to be four hours long and R rated? Yes, it doesn't need to fucking be that. It's a Justice what, League movie. I don't. I don't know what DC's obsession with is dark and gritty. Just because we like the Dark Knight doesn't mean we wanted to only watch the Dark Knight forever. Yeah. I wanted to see oh, Superman also, be the like, opposite of the Dark Knight and be the brightest, prettiest, yeah. colorfulest movie in the world. The Dark Knight being, like, dark and gritty, fine. Everyone else being dark and gritty, eat my dick. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. It's, it's, uh, it's fucking annoying. At yeah. least Shazam's great, and uh, Wonder Woman yeah, 1's Shazam, quite good. Shazam feels like a, what the DC movies should be. A yeah. little more lighthearted, unless it's Batman. Then it's like, oh, maybe they'll get into the more scary stuff. Well, if they but wanted Superman... to do a weird, dark, visually impressive movie, they could have done yeah. fucking Swamp Thing. Superman should feel like... Like, give fucking... Let's get... Steal Taika Waititi from Disney for a second and just let <laughs> him make a Superman movie. Well, I was saying... Um, if one of the, because for a little while I was like throwing around the idea of doing like a Tumblr where I wrote entire film scripts of movies that I thought should have been different, and there's uh -huh. a bit, there's a scene that I wrote in a in my Batman v Superman one that I never finished, but I wrote a scene where we kept the stupid thing where Metropolis and Gotham are connected via a bridge. They're like, like right next to each other across the canal. They are literally right next to each other in the movie Batman v Superman. And in yeah. my version, there's a bit where somebody drives a car across the bridge and it goes 
it's literally it's daytime bright sunny colorful metropolis <laughs> drive across the bridge into gotham and it's nighttime it becomes dusk. <laughs> and it's nighttime and it's dirty and there's all this shit flying around and gargoyles yeah, on the building the, and the have it and watching, then watching it's 2 p.m no and then literally there's the shot uh, like i write the shot goes turns around the guy gets out of the cab like t- looks around at the bridge and it's still daytime in metropolis <laughs> I was like, that's a, that's a solid bit because we are making a fucking cartoon. Like, yeah. no matter how dark it is, remember, mm-hmm. these are fucking cartoon characters. Yeah. Uh, also, Zack Snyder uh, got turned down because he was going to make a six-episode miniseries about the Joker murdering Dick Grayson. But that's the wrong Robin! Well, because remember, Zack Snyder said the Robin that's dead in Batman v Superman isn't Jason Todd, it's Dick oh, Grayson. Oh, right, so no, we don't get the... Ro- Batman doesn't get Robins, then. Because yeah. if Dick Grayson no, dies... He just, he just gets the one. <laughs> he gets the one, and then he dies, and then that's it. Because if Dick Grayson ceases to exist, Jason Todd is never brought in because mm-hmm. uh, Batman doesn't look at what he did with Dick and go like, ugh. I raised that boy right. I'm going to go yeah. steal another youth from the streets. Hey, you, come on over here. Oh, you're a little more violent. <laughs> yeah. And then Tim Drake only shows up because fucking, or at least in the canon that I remember, because Dick Grayson was like, after the death of Jason Todd, he's like, bro, you are fucking snapping necks a bit too much. <laughs> it's not quite I know that they're much. alive, but you were creating Gotham's, like, yeah. you were filling up their, like, handicap shit. Yeah, it's like, Tim, yeah, Tim and Dick meet up because Tim in, like, right before uh, Jason dies, like, Tim, f- or maybe right after, Tim figures like, out. Uh, because yeah. it, the the story is that, like, Tim Drake was there when Dick Grayson's parents died. At the, He was at the circus. Yeah. Uh, and then he get he forces Batman to adopt Tim Drake as, like, well, uh, he doesn't he doesn't adopt Tim Drake as, like, a, as, like, his child because Tim Drake has a living rich father. Oh yeah, it's just that his father's an asshole or something. No, no, no. His father—they actually have a great relationship. Oh, uh, not, what the fuck? Get out of here, Tim Drake. You're too good for the for this. No, because Tim Drake, Tim Tim Drake's whole thing is that he's like a worse—he's a worse fighter, but a better detective than the other Robins. Mm. And then Stephanie Brown is no longer canon as ever being a Robin. Yeah, but, but she, she was just Tim she Drake's became... girlfriend originally. Yeah, she was the spoiler. And, and now she... we got Damian Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. A kid that grew to the age of, like, 12 in two years. No, he was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, post-New 52, where it's like and Batman's the hyperverse, only been Batman yeah. five years. Yeah. I think you said 10 years before. No, Batman... So, before the New 52, uh, in the storyline that they introduce uh, Damien, like, Grant Morrison came up with the idea that all of the stuff that happened to Batman that we know that happened to him happened to him in about 15 years. Um, mm. And then the New 52 happens and says, most of that shit happens, but it all happened in five years. So they have to come up with a thing where, like, Dick, uh, Damian Wayne in the New 52 was, like, raised in a vat to be, <laughs> to, like, where he was, like, made to in age a faster. Fucking vat, yeah. Anyway, the Snyder Cut's gonna be a fucking terrible movie. Yeah, you know what else Will is it... terrible? Yeah. What Twitch did to that young man, <laughs> that young pro Fortnite streamer. I don't. So I didn't. <laughs> this what? this piece of news that you've written down here. Come I'm on. Like, I don't care about. This. <laughs> Come on. What? Twitch is stupid. Twitch is stupid, but they're stupid for way different reasons than this. Fine. Like the other thing that's I put in lower yeah. that I don't know. Anyway, he showed a picture of a guy's butt and he got banned by a accident. Different, a different streamer showed coochie and I guess only got a three day ban. Yeah, because she I guess OBS works with like every streaming platform, including including my free cams. Mm. Oh, and okay. She, so then that's a okay. It then was I got that mistake. It, I would say they these are both whoopsies of you the could, same caliber. Yeah. Where you could t- argue the- that neither of these deserved any real punishment. Uh, yeah, the only problem I really have with this and why I even thought about it being in the news is the fact that he didn't get ba- She was straight up told three-day ban because of her mistake. 
because she put the wrong stream key in OBS. So she was, or the, both of them were active or some shit. I can't remember. Mm. So she was showing her coochie to Twitch. The Twitch chat was pogging and it took like 15 minutes for like a guy on the my free campsite to go like, Hey, you know you're live on Twitch right now as well, right? Like, it went so long with no one saying anything. To be fair, and if you saw I, that, you would pog. Oh, yeah, I would, I would, but I'd, I probably wouldn't sit there for 15 minutes and just be like, oh, you know what, actually, it might take me 15 minutes. Who knows? I get it. Maybe the guy was just like, ooh, free, free show. <laughs> um, but he got, <laughs> Clicks got an indefinite ban. For a 12 by 12 JPEG, like a thumbnail that he was like quickly saving like a Fortnite win, being like, oh, that was a sick game. I'm going to save it like with OBS. And well, it like popped up just there in the corner by accident. Can I tell yeah, you something? He just had a thumbnail Ian? that said Ron's ass. Can I tell you something, Ian? Yeah. That's what you get for playing Fortnite. Oh, you're right. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So. Yeah. He got unbanned, like, a day later, but the fact that it was, like, indefinite just feels, like, rude. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a Nintendo yeah. Direct this week. Fuck, I was, gonna, I was like, you know what else was rude? This Nintendo Direct. There's a Nintendo Direct this week. It was the first normal Nintendo Direct since September of 2019, guys. Yeah, I was so excited, and then, like, five minutes into it, I was like, oh, no, these are normally actually boring. <laughs> Yeah, instead of a 15-minute one, it was a one-hour-long one. It was, yeah, it was 50 whole minutes of ports. Uh, not quite. I would say majority of this was all ports. Well, first of all, we got Pyra and Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. They're at Ooga Smash booga big a booby. <laughs> you know what? This is fine. And anybody who's unhappy about this is dumb. I am uh, just like perfectly... Sephiroth. I am pretty numb to it. I don't care. This is care. a perfectly reasonable addition. Yeah. Um, I, thank God it's not Rex. That's all yeah. I gotta say. <laughs> Rex uh, is fucking annoying. But yeah. also, we got we got the censored versions of Pyra and Mithra. Well, only they're, wearing slight, Smash. they're only wearing slightly different outfits. Yeah, well, it's actually, they're pretty much the same outfit, except all they did was Pyra had, a, had the boner gap, you know, where it's the thigh high, and then the gap, and then, like, some booty shorts. Yeah, and then and they, they just And then also it. they had, like, another line to it that would, like, be like, oh, that's a thong riding on her hips. They just put like a sheer material in between it. Be like, no, this is one pant. It's not three mm -hmm. separate things. Uh, Mithra is wearing black tights now. She used to just be like legs out to the world. Honestly, both. I I think I prefer Mithra's design with the tights. Yeah, uh, I mean, like I think Pyra's thing is fine because I fucking love that shit. <laughs> I mean, like again, it all looks fine. Yeah. And and also, interesting, like, interesting character. And, uh, you know, while I did send you that meme of Dante isn't supposed to be here today. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's st still fun. It's still fine. Another red-coated anime swordsman was added instead. Yeah. Uh, so we got... Oh, yeah, thank God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I saw uh, the same day. There is this famous, like, NTR image of, <laughs> of like, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 of, like... They 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 cropped it out, but it's supposed it's like a really dark one. It's like what people generally think of NTR when they hear the word. It's like a dude holding Rex's face down in like the dirt, and the cropped out part is like Mithra and Pyra getting some good D, but they replaced it with like a a like a giant like speech bubble that says "Sorry, Rex, I'm going to smash and you aren't." <laughs> yeah. Nice. All yeah. right, but let's... next, right after Fall Guys is coming to Switch. Honestly, yeah. I thought it was already on Switch because that would yeah. have made sense to be a Switch title. Also, it's not coming until like summer. Yeah, but we got like Fall Guys, Outer Worlds, or sorry, Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds Outer, is Outer up. Wilds. Uh, Outer Wilds, <laughs> great game, by the way. Uh, yeah, sure. Famicom Detective Club. This is actually really interesting. These are some of the earliest visual novels have been remade completely to be on the Technic Switch technically ports but also remakes so yeah. can't really be mad about it yeah uh super cool samurai warriors 5 this is just a straight up new game uh yeah on f i was trying to d double check that but when you search samurai warriors 5 it tells you about dynasty warriors 5 <laughs> a different game by the same devs and probably shares characters but 
Yeah. Difference. Uh, Nobunaga, baby. He's in yet another yeah. thing. I was watching it with Anthony, and he was bummed that it wasn't a new Nobunaga's ambition. I thought it was, too. That's what I yeah. was thinking. Because th- Nobunaga's ambition is like a tactical RPG. Yeah. But this is just like the well, 80th still... Warriors game they put on the Switch, which I don't understand. The Switch cannot handle Warrior games very well. Well, uh, uh, Anthony could just play the fucking Pokemon Nobunaga's ambition game, which is <laughs> stupid that it exists, but it's real. Yeah. I thought uh, that was supposed to be Fire Emblem. No, like it's it's was. Pokemon. That's um, weird. No, no, that it was a Pokemon and Fire Emblem crossover, not Pokemon and Nobunaga. Oh no, no, it's Nobunaga's ambition. Yeah. It's called. It's just called like Pokemon something, but literally you can play as Nobunaga, um, yeah. who has like a Pikachu or some shit. Yeah, it's like one of them has a Pikachu. They all have like their own Pokemon and yeah. shit. There was like three versions of the game. Uh, anyway, they're remastering Legend of Mana, which is sure. cool. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise, new trailer Woo. shows new and returning monsters along with some story content. They looked cool. Yep. Also, the fact that you are now ha- you have co-op offline buddies. Yeah. Because cool. before, if you didn't, if you couldn't play online in Monster Hunter, get fucked, get good. Now it's like, oh, have these two bitches from Nier Automata. <laughs> uh, we got Mario Golf Super Rush. It's a new Mario a Golf game. A game that's going to cost $80 that I don't want to spend that much money on it. I'm sure it's yeah. cool. I'm sure it'll be fun. It's cool that but... they, they got the story RPG stuff from the Game Boy yeah. games finally in the in the big boy ones. Yeah, but even that, it's like it's just not enough to like justify the price tag they give it. Oh, for sure. But like that's yeah. how it is with all fucking Nintendo shit. Um, yeah. Tales from the I'm Borderlands. I'm sure, like, Emma or Chris will get it, and then, like, yeah. once COVID's up, we'll, like, we'll just go play it at your house. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, Tale, Tales from the Borderlands, coming back to shops, and it's, uh, it's coming to Switch for the first time, March the 24th. The classic Borderlands humor. Tales from the Borderlands is the is the best Borderlands. It's it's the better one, but classic yeah. Borderlands humor is not something you want to hear. Oh, is that what he said in the trailer? Yeah. That's dumb. It's, it's like classic Borderlands humor returning now to the Nintendo Switch, and everyone was like, ooh. Okay. Uh, we got Capcom Arcade Stadium, which came out on the day, which is kind of not worth the money that it is, but whatever. Never is. Uh, Stubbs the Zombie. Stubbs the Zombie. The is that a port, or is that a new Stubbs the Zombie? It I is literally a, couldn't I, tell. I believe it is just a port. Okay. No more is hero. No more heroes. Because if that was if that was a new Stubbs the Zombie game, jeez, that looks like shit. Yeah, but they all did. So it's fine. Yeah. Uh, no more heroes. Three is coming August twenty seventh, so we get to see more of it. There's aliens. That's cool. There's more gameplay stuff. There, uh, it's. <laughs> I love no. I don't. I don't want to play no more heroes, but every time I see it, I have a moment where I'm like, maybe I should, because it's like, <laughs> oh fuck. I gotta go beat up this monster that's threatening, or this assassin, whatever, that's threatening an entire nation. Uh, one second, I gotta go mow some lawns and play minigames so I can afford to enter the room. Yeah. Uh, uh, those games so are all dumb. apparently pretty good, so... Oh, yeah, Anthony loves them. Yeah. Uh, and also, like, I've heard about Travis Touchdown for so long and never knew he was from No More Heroes. I was just like, that sounds like <laughs> a cool character. Uh, speaking of cool, fucking Neon White... That looked sick. Uh, yeah, that did look cool, actually. Uh, I'm looking up a picture of it right real quick. It was like a first oh. person... Oh, thank God it's on Steam. Yeah. I can play it somewhere else. <laughs> it's uh, Yeah, actually, when it, the trailer said Annapurna, I was like, Nathan's nutting right now. Yeah, uh, listen, I, everything that company does, I tend to like. It, it looks... It says it's not, but to me it kind of looked like a roguelite first person card-based game. It is card based. Yeah, it looked really cool. Except the dude, that main guy in the center, is such a boring design compared to the rest of the characters there. The only thing that kind of dehyped me was that it was first person. Yeah, because I, I saw it. the well, at least the now splash, that I know that it's on PC. The splash image came up, and I was like, "This looks like a fucking character action game. This looks like yeah, super but it's weird a f- first person character action game." I wouldn't even say that. Is it? It's like a first person card. RPG action game. Um, it's a oh, yeah. fir- it's a first he's person. Worried, it's a first he's person. Nothing. It's a first person version of Kingdom Hearts: Chain of Memories. Uh, DC Superhero Girls had a kind of dookie looking action slash life sim sim game. Yeah, it looked bad. Yeah, I mean, like Although it looked that's, it that's looked more polished. New, 
It looked more That's polished than I expected. That's not a new Plants vs. Zombies game. That's not a new Plants vs. Zombies game? That is a port. Oh, I, I didn't think they had one after Garden Warfare 2. Uh, they did not. Batter, I think Battle for Neighborville is just, like, the title of it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Metopia is coming to Switch. Uh, yep. <laughs> it is a port of a 3DS game fully for 10 extra dollars. Because the game came out for forty nine ninety nine on the three DS, and now it is you know, they are charging fifty nine ninety nine for the Switch version. That's lame. Mario items are coming to Animal Crossing Feb twenty fifth. I I wish they would. Ju- Did you you didn't play a lot of New Leaf, right? Uh no. Uh so in New Leaf they had a system for you could go to the nook the Nookling shop every day and buy these like lottery tickets, and then the lottery tickets would give you like a random item. And they were all Nintendo themed, like from other games. So like you could get like a Triforce that when you interact with it, it did the thing where it like split apart and like reformed and shit. Oh. Or a Master Sword or Link's Hat. And I th- wish they brought that system back in instead of it just being like, look, you can fucking craft them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, other than the warp pipe, it's all just like t- items that feel very out of place. The warp pipe is also out of place. It just has such a cool function. It's like, yeah. yay. Um, Project Triangle Strategy. So, uh, Triangle Traveler. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's a follow-up to o- Octopath Traveler, but it's not in the same yeah, universe. It's a when, like, tactical Octopath RPG. Octopath Traveler was announced, it was called, like, Project Octopath or something. No, it was called Project... Yeah, it was called the Project Octopath Travelers. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it'll probably just wind up being called Triangle Strategy. Uh, but this time, it's a tactical rpg uh much like fire emblem or final fantasy tactics it's supposed to come in 2022 there was a demo on the day weirdly despite this being touted as being in that 2d hd franchise it's by art dink uh instead of the instead of acquire who uh actually did octopath traveler because acquire made bravely default 2 which is like about to come out yeah interesting choice also did you did you even write that there was a bravely default 2 trailer here there was, yeah, but I I included it as being part of the montage of things uh, okay. we already know about. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, me, we, me and Anthony were genuinely sitting there in the call going like, wasn't this game, didn't Bravely Default 2 already come out? And, and you were we thinking were of wrong, Bravely Second Bravely and Bravely Second, later. which is so <laughs> such a weird name. The answer, and also to be in the same franchise. The answer is that Bravely Second was like kind of not that well liked. And so calling this one Bravely Default 2 is... It's going uh, like we're back on track. We're back on track, baby. We're out of there. And apparently, uh, you know, I played a bit of the demo of that. It's quite good. You know, I played the demo for Triangle Strategy as well. It's really good, but for some reason, like, your the movement spaces of your characters just aren't long enough. Like, other than that, if that wasn't there, I think I would have loved that Maybe it's demo because you're like the lower level of the characters in the demo or something so like, you're like level you, eight you the, the demo starts in chapter six of the game but like i know when in like at least for fire emblem which like when you're a low level you can only move like five spaces at a time but by the end it's like oh let me just fucking zoop across yeah. the map well and this has like more terrain stuff than fire emblem it's like yeah it's also a, like it's a lot more interesting, but like the stuff you can do, where it's like, oh, I cast fucking ice there on that fire, and now we have water left over. Yeah. Let me throw some electricity down, and pop that shit. Yeah, it, uh, I thought that looked cool. It's really cool. The game's cool. I would recommend you check out the demo. I love, obviously, love the visuals of these two D HD games. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, we got um, a teaser for Star yeah. Wars Hunters. It's At apparently least. a free-to-play FPS coming out later this year, Ian. That's, I'm sure it's going to be a Battle Royale game based off of, like, oh, look at these zany characters we have. It's but. Star Fortnite. Or, you know, maybe. Maybe it'll be another, like, four-on-four big open-world traversal game that no one cares about and no one wants to play. Like Knockout City? Like, Knockout City. Oh, shit, that was next. I thought I was skipping some stuff. It's Which like, is remember an... Ninjala? <laughs> yeah, this looks a lot more put together than Ninjala. But still, it just looks Yeah, it looks boring. Great. It looks also, boring. why was an orc from World of Warcraft there? 
because I, like, they were talking about how all these characters are so bored in their own games that they want to play fucking Knockout City. Yeah, well, World of well, there was World of Warcraft man. I guess that was a Counter Strike guy. And was, then what was the fucking princess? It that, was supposed I to be Princess loved. Speech. I thought it was like Princess Charm or something. Yeah, but it was. I know it's a parody of Princess Peach, but I don't know. I like that character. I wish that was in a game. Yeah. I uh, think she was small and cute. It, she would look like it's in a game where it's like a parody of Mario, where the princess is like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to take care of it now. I know exactly the game you want, and the answer is it's Fat Princess. Um, Does she take care of herself in that? I thought that was a weird no. it's a game. It's a weird game. I'm just, just yeah. joking. That game's like also kind of problematic, I think. Um, World's End Club, uh, which we was announced some time ago, but it's the new game from the creator of Danganronpa. It uh, looked like a Pokemon game. has side-scrolling action and visual novel stuff. It comes May 28th. It's a death game for children by children. Yeah, and but like... Just the, the way the art style was, I was like, this looks like new Pokemon shit. Like, well, we, yeah, I, the thing, that's what I was like thinking. It was made like, by Ken Sugimori. It does look very much like it's for kids, but, like, I know this writer, and I know what, like, the plot of this is, and I'm like, I think it's just trying to be de deceptive. Because it's like another, yeah. it's another death game type thing, so it's going to be pretty dark. It's interesting that it had side-scrolling action, though. I figured it would be, like, mostly visual novel stuff like Danganronpa is. Yeah, I don't know. To me, it just didn't look great. Yeah, That's I mean, like, honestly... the gameplay it showed, I was like, this looks bad. Honestly, it's carried by the guy who make, made it, right? I bet the story will be good. Yeah. You know? I like um, the art. I think it's very cute, but it's not, yeah. it's not worth my time. Hades is getting a physical release March 19th. <laughs> I, I would... <laughs> When that came up, I was like, I already own this game on Switch. Why are you advertising <laughs> it now? It was like, oh, never mind. Physical release. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I would have probably not put that in the fucking thing, but... Me neither. You know, go ahead. Maybe they had to add that so they could remove the Shin-chan game that they announced in the Japanese version of the Direct. Maybe, yeah, because uh, yeah. we're just... probably not getting it. Even though that game looks, we... like, really nice. It looks like Weeb Animal Crossing. Yeah. Um, it looks cute as fuck, and Shin, I don't like Shin-chan. I think it's, like, too childish for me, but I understand that it's, like, not actually supposed to be childish. But it just looked, it looked so nice. It looked like a very well-adapted, like, anime art style into a video game, which, like, never yeah. happens. You're right. Like, it, other, yeah. outside of, like, Persona 5 and shit. Yeah. But, like, Persona 5 is, has been, like, building that anime art style. Like, the anime yeah. is based off of the art style in the game, where it's, like... Oh, fuck. Like, everyone else like, oh, no, we have to figure out what 3D models look like of these 2D characters where when they talk on the side, their mouth is on their cheek. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's just bad anime that does that. Yeah. We got a Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Collects Port. The, yeah. Uh, but it collects the Sigma versions of the Xbox game. So, Ian, will you ring the bell that we had set up we have, in this Nintendo Direct, a port of a port. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That's right, we're using a port of the PS3 port of the Xbox Ninja Gaiden games. I'm sure this will work great. Because every single time yep. a port of a port comes out, there's no issues whatsoever. Well, yeah, and the thing is, is, like, the Sigma versions from PS3, they were like, wow, you managed to keep it at 60 FPS, uh, even though you've upped it to 720p from the original 560p from the Xbox 360 version. Yeah. That's really good. But there's also fewer enemies on screen, they disappear faster, and the blood is less. Yeah. But what if Also, what if they made it easier? No, it's not easier. It's... It's about the same. Yeah. It's about the same. Um, Hyrule Warriors 2 is getting DLC. They, I honestly don't they know announced what they the there. concept of DLC for Hy Hyrule Warriors 2 without showing anything. Yeah, they were like, it's coming. It's, it's going to show up there. And it's like, all right. So, Nintendo, cool. don't do that. That's yeah. dumb. Don't announce that you're doing DLC like, yeah. when, without showing, like, don't worry, it's cool. Also, like, what what could it be? <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. Like that game already has more characters than I thought. Like you can like it's got Link, Zelda. What's her name? Impa. Uh, yeah. The four the champions. And then mm-hmm. now I fucking unlost Hestu, which is the giant fucking fat dude with the maracas that you can give shit to that will, like, increase your weapon capacity. You've definitely yeah. never met him because you didn't get that far. Yeah. But then they also gave me... Um, Wait, this, the, like, the big Korok guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I know who he is. I've, I've seen Let's Plays of the game. There's I didn't, also this I didn't giant... meet him, but also that's mostly because I fucked up how to get into Kakariko Village. Oh, he's not in Kakariko. You have to find him outside of Kakariko first. Oh, not Kakariko. Um, He's, like, on a random path, and you find him, like, in these random locations. It's, well, set locations, but it's like, why are you here? Mm -hmm. And uh, then he retreats back to uh, the forest, whatever it's called. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The game, uh, I don't know which characters it could be, because I think you also get to play as the king at one point, who is not a character. But he is. He He's kinda... the ghost man. Yeah, but he also just kind of shows up every, like, all the time. He's just like, Zelda, you're a failure. I know you're this technological genius who's, like, figuring out all this old tech that could actually help us against Calamity Ganon. Totally not going to backfire on us in any way by reviving all of it. But go back in your room and read your books and pray to the goddess because you need your powers. <laughs> yeah. And all he does is just make Zelda like cry all the time because he's I, a fucking fat old man. I kind of am sick of hearing about Breath of the Wild, but also I know that's like such boomer energy because everybody else likes it. So of course people are going to talk about it, but it's just, yeah, I dislike the game and I'm sick of seeing people fucking criticize the Zelda games I like. I'm sick of okay. it. People have been criticizing the Zelda games I like for always because it's always been like, oh, Twilight Princess is too dark and there's like all too much talking. Oh, Skyward Sword is so bad because of one gimmick. Or, oh, you know what else is shit? This is the real contrarian. Wind Waker sucks. <laughs> yeah, nobody says that anymore. People do say that. Or it's like more uh, like Wind Waker is so universally loved at this point that it's like, don't even bother. Because the next yeah. two Win- Zeldas that came after it were a lot more de- de- divisive. Yeah. So, like, you can't really complain about Wind Waker for being, like, this kid game when next they were like, oh, now we're going to go to the Dark Spectrum, and they're like, too dark. Never mind. Yeah, I got I, I just got want really, Ocarina of Time over and over again. I got really fucking triggered because there was a, there was a Zelda where it's like, eliminate one forever. It, you have to. And, I, and it was like... Uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, Ocarina of Time, okay, yeah, Wind Waker, okay. and A Link to the Past. Yeah, and I was shocked at how many people said they would get rid of Link to the Past because it's the fucking best one of those four. All right, I have a question about those scenarios. Yeah, when you get rid of them, is it permanently or is it like you can't play this one anymore? Uh, permanently, I guess. I'd get rid of Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Oh, I, I would get rid of the Breath of the Wild because I'm a selfish. I know, I know. I'm a selfish prick. But no, no I know. But my, I'm, all my I'm tweet, is I'd rather I I've, I've played Ocarina of Time like three times. I don't like that game as much as yeah. Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild. My, um, well, my Link tweet, Between Worlds. I haven't played Link to the Past actually. My tweet was, uh, "Fuck Breath of the Wild, uh, fuck Ocarina of Time, throw." <laughs> Uh, throw Twilight Princess in that bitch now. People are very mean about the 2D Zelda games. Like, Which, like, listen, I don't like Zelda 1 or even Zelda 2. And I've yeah, never played Link's old. Awakening. And we've had much better versions But Link of to the Past is so good. Link to the Past is just a better version of Ocarina of Time. It's a 2D version. But it's the like Ocarina of Time is basically a remake of Link to the Past. Also, but less fun. where's my respect for where no everyone disrespects Minish Cap so hard. That is one of the best two D Zelda games. Do not at me. Well, that was Capcom back when Capcom never missed, dude. Yeah, that was they Capcom. They didn't miss. That was Capcom when the third Devil May Cry game was like Nightmare on, on uh, Before Christmas. Uh. Nightmare they've Before mi- Christmas. They've missed at least once yeah, <laughs> with, with Double May Cry 2. But I would say, or, or wait, was Nightmare Before Christmas the second Double May Cry, or was it the third? I have no idea what you mean. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge is a Double May Cry game. 
Mm. Okay. The the Capcom made a Devil May Cry. <laughs> like you, they made the Nightmare go, Before Christmas game, and it's just see DMC. That, that that one where it's like one's got to go Mario edition. Yeah. And it was like Mario Odyssey, uh, uh, two other Mario games, but then it was like Mario 3D All Stars, and someone was just like, "Yo, Nintendo's taking care of this f- for you already, ne- <laughs> like next month." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a fucking dumb gimmick they did with that. Wish I didn't buy that shit. Yeah. <sighs> and then we got highlight out. highlight some stuff we already knew about. Yeah. And then- fuck it. There's going to be more Breath of the Wild 2 news later this year. The man shows up just to say, hey guys, we still don't got anything for Breath of the Wild 2. Here's a blatant port for 10 extra dollars with a lot less bullshit. And here's the thing. I don't mind Skyward Sword HD. I will I, probably get fact, it. I, well, that's fine. I already, I still own it on, and I still have my Wii U. With all my attachments, so I really see. Don't need I it. didn't. I didn't get this game the first time because yeah, by the time so it came out, I stopped playing my Wii. But if I, people don't have it and have never mm-hmm. played it, I would say, fine, sure, get the port because honestly, Dolphin doesn't work that great with actual Wii games, yeah. especially this one. But here's the thing: I as I messaged Anthony because I'm like, you know what? I think I have a theory. Could you just go into Dolphin and set the Wii, the like the Wii Motion to the right stick? Yes, you can. Yeah. So once again, this is just a very simple thing they've done that they're acting like, uh, yeah, we worked really hard on this. Well, they this had to li- they had to actually do work to make it work with the the motion controls work with the Joy-Con. They actually put Yeah, effort that's in. the work. The, yeah. But the the shit on the right stick is not a lot of work. Yeah. And it, it and it does to give them even more credit. It is significantly does seem like a significant change in terms of how it's running. Yeah, but that's also because it's running on better hardware. Like, yeah. the game ran fine for me when I played it, because I played it on the on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. And honestly, it looks the same on the Wii U, because the Wii U is an HD console, and the Wii was not. Yeah. Um, so, it's, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, it shouldn't be a full-priced game, but it is. Yeah. it's a, Because the Wii U, the Wii version, sorry to keep it around, yeah. but the Wii version came with not only the game... But it also came with, with, like, every copy that you bought brand new came with the Wii Motion Plus accessory for no cost because yeah. you needed it to play the game. And, so it came like, out, and it came out 10 years ago when games cost less than they do now. Yeah. Like, the game came out for fifty nine ninety nine ten 10 years ago, and they gave you a free accessory because they were like, yeah, we didn't make these things good enough to actually use... <laughs> Are the ideas sure we came up with. I think it was sixty nine when that game came out. I think it was fifty nine. Uh, but remember, I'm using U S numbers right now. Oh, U S fifty nine ninety nine. But it's also yeah. co- it's still coming out for U S fifty nine ninety nine. Still, still too much considering that it's the same game. It's yeah. old. It, there's not that many changes. Yeah. Uh, but I'm yeah, fine if you, if, again. If I'm fine with played... this game. Um, coming out, it's whatever. There's no problem with this, but. Uh, my thing is, why the fuck do you announce this and not say, also, we're porting the Wii U versions of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess? I, that would be an acceptable port. I wouldn't why? buy them, but the, the, yeah. I would appreciate it for put my those, friends who have put never those played two, it. Put those two on the same fucking cart and call that, or, call that 80 bucks. That's fine. Those two games together also, are worth the full price. Um, Once again, Wind Waker HD came out for $40. When that was a that was a bigger that was a remake. Yeah. And Twilight Princess HD came out I with was the 50. Wolf Link Amigo at uh, Amiibo. Yeah, forty nine ninety nine for uh, U.S. money. Yeah, forty nine ninety nine. So put them together. Put them together. Wind call Waker it. HD. Put them together. Call it eighty Canadian. Call it like the game. Call it the GameCube collection or some shit. I would yeah. say fucking sixty, <laughs> like. They won't do it. 60 US. <laughs> I, they won't. But 60 they, US they is 80 Canadian. It's 70. No. I'm not doing the math right now. I think it's like 73. Yeah, but it's any game that costs 60 US is 80 Canadian. That's just how they work. I'm not arguing about this. Um, but uh, just... It's like... I'm sure that you can... Or, they've ported so many Wii U titles over already at no effort. 
I'm <laughs> sure they could just be like, it's on the store now. Go have at it. Yeah. And I think the motion and controls when, don't work for the origin for Twilight Princess anymore. And Wind on, Waker and Twilight Princess are both more well liked than Skyward Sword. Generally, yeah. I'm not even. I'm not saying they're better or worse games. I've never touched Skyward Sword. Um, I love. I love Twilight Princess, and I've played a bit of Wind Waker HD. Um, you know what genuinely pisses me off. I was thinking about this the other day. What? It's about the Wii. The Wii U. Yeah. I have the Wii U Pro Controller. Yeah. This controller is so much better than the Switch Pro Controller. Really? I like the Switch it's, Pro Controller a lot. The, uh, the Switch Pro Controller just feels, like, hollow and empty. Like, it has the HD rumble in it shit, but, like, it just feels, like, light and annoying. Like, I don't know. I just think the feel of the Wii U Controller... Is so nice. The thing, the, the thing with the Wii U good. Pro the thing with oh, the Wii just, U Pro controller, it the sticks looks, are up here for some fucking reason. Oh, I was gonna say it looks so Xboxy that I feel like I wouldn't have the immediate because the second after I put down my PS5 controller, I can pick up the Switch controller and I don't get mixed up about the confirm and deny buttons being swapped because I'm so used to the fact that they feel different from each other. This is like an Xbox 360 controller. This is an Xbox One controller. And honestly, I was kind of lying. There is heft to this. So it's not yeah. the weight I have a problem with. It's like the buttons. Like the buttons feel like they stick more on the Switch controller. I'm doing all this fucking controller ASMR now. Yeah. Here, I'll... So in, in this moment, Ian turns the gain on his microphone up extremely high and starts fiddling with a controller. I have deleted the horrific noise um, but I've kept my reaction. Oh, that's awful. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, you're peeking the mic so bad there. Okay. Ugh. I gotta shove these back in my drawer. But no, nothing will ever compete <laughs> with my dusty ass Wii, <laughs> Wii remote with its weird condom. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. The Wii retroactively kind of slapped. <laughs> the Wii was like one of those consoles where some of it, it just like there was 8 million games for the Wii and most of them are shit. They were all bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then like the games that came out for the Wii just got when the Wii U came out actually ran better. Yeah. Um, the Wii U is like a good console. It's just unfortunately like. It's not quite the Dreamcast 2 because I don't think the game quality is quite there. Yeah, and but. also it did have... Momentarily it had more support. Yeah. It's just that... At the time, gimmicks were failing so hard and the Wii had already failed, kind of. Like, I don't even it think was it the was the best-selling the... console. And yeah. it had like the best-selling game on it at the time. But like no one really took advantage of the stuff and like everything that did, no one liked. They were like, I just want to play games. And then, like, Microsoft had the Kinect, the PlayStation Move came out, and everyone was just kind of done with it. And they're like, oh, here's the Wii U. <laughs> we're like, oh. the, co the Kinect was re actually really successful. Yeah, because but, like, that's some boomer energy shit. I had a Kinect. I did, too. Okay. But I hated it. And I never played, like, any good games on it. There was, like, nothing worthwhile. Did you play that terrible use. fighting game? No, I did not. I, I did. didn't have, I didn't have, like, any games. I had, like, I wanted, like, Dance Central. Dance but, Central's like, great, actually. I know, but I didn't get it because my dad didn't understand and got me, like, this knockoff version of it instead, and I tried playing it once. I'm like, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> so I just never used it. Damn. Uh, Dance Central was actually quite good. Uh, Mass Effect yeah. 3 was better with Connect. Didn't all it do was, like, you could just be like, oh, biotic charge, and he would or something? Yeah, you could tell people what to do, and they'd do it. Yeah, also Skyrim, you could yell your shouts out. Yeah, that was dumb and bad. I think that's the same energy as Connect as the as the Mass Effect Three stuff. Mass Effect Three stuff is fine. Like, like okay, Mass Effect Three to tell your people where to go, you'd have to go into a little menu. Whereas all you have to do is open up the weapon wheel and then point right. towards where you wanted to go. But what I'm and saying then, like, is, press left or right on the D pad. What I'm saying is like it's not that's like a three button thing, and you solve that with a zero button thing. The fucking tr shout. 
is like a zero is a one button thing. Like it's easier also, to don't. just hit the button than do the voice. You thing. also have to remember the shout. Yeah. Like you gotta actually be like, oh, Fus Roda. Oh shit, what's the one for fire? Oh no. Yeah. That was the only good thing about it uh, on the thing is because you could equip the shouts as well as use them at the same time with the connect. That was the only good thing. Yeah. Unlike the other one, unlike the actual version, where it's like, oh, open the menu, go equip the correct shout. It was bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and also Splatoon 3 exists. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to buy it again. I bought Splatoon 2, never played it. I bought Splatoon 1, fucking hated it. Like, I bo- it's just the fucking... Those games launch as multiplayer-only games for a full price, and then, like, three months later, we'll charge you $30 for a campaign. That's not fun. Or no, actually, the campaign is fun, but you have to pay $90 to play it. Well, no, well, the, the Splatoon 2 campaign came out, like, years after Splatoon 2 came out. I wouldn't say years. I would say a year. The game was still being supported when that campaign came out. Yeah, but, like, the campaign came out, like, some time after... The Octo, yeah, still, you still have to the Metro thing? Yeah. Yeah, it was it's DLC. There is a campaign mode. It's just they're it's kind just of bare good. bones. Yeah. Yeah. But this one seems to have far more lore and complications. Mm. Like you can I go, just, you can go I, to... I'm just going to uh, wait until I see someone else play it first and decide if I want it or not. Because I still don't like playing like shooters on yeah, I'm console. Not, I'm not saying and, you have to buy it. I've never bought one of these games. I think they're really cool in a concept. It's just that I'm very bad at them because I don't get it. Did you like that you could see Tempura Cho in the thing? <laughs> what? Is, it's like, is that what they're calling the city? No, spot? I'm calling it that because it's a pun on <laughs> Camaro Cho and yeah, Tempura, well, a Kabuki Cho. Seafood. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. we know Camaro Cho. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, we know Camaro Cho. <laughs> yeah. Uh, We've been there eight fucking times. <laughs> yeah. I pr- I know that city better than the city I live in. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. You know that block. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's all for yeah. the Nintendo Direct. Overall, kind of disappointing, but uh, there was some. Cool uh, I think there was a lot of cool stuff. I think it, it was mostly yeah. ports, but the sheer number of things. You know what I think is the real bummer about this, uh, the whole thing? What? Last year, or the the last big Direct, or whatever. I don't know. When they yeah. announced it. When we got Mario, the 3D All-Stars collection. That was because it was the 35th anniversary. Zelda turns 35 tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Yesterday. Damn. On the 21st, Zelda turns 35. In August, Metroid turns 35. We haven't had a Metroid game in like seven fucking years now. Like, they're just... Well, we know they're working on franchises. Metroid Prime 4. They just had to they throw the entire though, that, game out. <laughs> The other there's a different studio working on Metroid Prime 4. So like Nintendo has something else they could do. They could put a remaster out, they could release a collection on the Switch of like fucking give me like Metroid Zero Mission or something. Or maybe like maybe they want to do it halfway and then like maybe in a few months or whatever they'll announce another you know how they have the NES and this and SNES? Yeah. They could add like a Nintendo Switch Game Boy Game Boy Advance thing. I would and, love that. And that would, would be have, so fun. Would have right. also Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. Pokemon. So, yeah, like Pokemon, or yeah. you know, like Minish Cap and uh, and uh, the Metroid other two D Zelda games. Yeah, uh, Metroid the Zero Mission, Four Swords, uh, Mega Sony. Man, uh. Spider-Man, the Mysterio one, the game I played I the most on my Game Boy. There's tons of games that they could add, and it would be yeah. all cool, but they won't, because they don't do anything smart. The weirdly named ports of the Mario games for the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Super Mario Game Boy Advance World. Yeah, hold on. Shit. Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario 3. Yeah. And then they all, they, each of them had like a copy of like the original Mario with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just Mario, but you're zoomed in further because the screen's a different aspect ratio. Yeah. So, once again, Blizzard is out of touch. 
Yeah. They did. Blizz they're doing BlizzCon line. Yeah. I also wrote Blizz on here. I forgot to see. Um, did uh, they? Oh, the fucking the for their opening ceremony, they had Metallica on to play fucking Saint Anchor or whatever the fuck that song is. But who knows? Because I'm not a big Metallica guy. But if I was no. honestly watching this, I would have only heard two whole seconds because Twitch has their major DMCA issues. Yep. Which people are tracing back to being Lars's fucking fault. <laughs> oh yeah, well, DM. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that Metallica supported DMCA so heavily when the pirating Napster shit happened, yeah. then maybe we wouldn't be here. Yep, and uh, maybe Twitch streamers could be making an honest living and having like some chill beats playing in the background without someone like, "Hey, that noise was used in Dead Space too." <laughs> <laughs> That was the wildest one. That was so fucking stupid. Or games yeah. that have paid to copyright the music and have, like, streamer things in their user agreements. And they're like, oh, no, that's a... The the record label is going to go and fight you now because you played GTA with the music on. Mm -hmm. Or fucking, like, an old Tony Hawk game. So... Everyone, yeah, I get as, stuff like that where it's like, of course, that's just the entire song. Like that's but it, if understandable. If but if the streamer's point, if unless the streamer is not talking, the game is muted. You get all this music in between. If I'm gonna pirate pirate a song, I'm definitely not gonna do it on a German nine eight five stream of him playing through Tony Hawk's Underground One, where he's constantly going like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like I, it's so dumb. I understand some level, and, you know, but the problem is... You want to is, protect your property, and you want to keep making money off of it, because yeah. that's the way your industry needs is, needs to operate. Yeah, and but it's, like, it's wrong to use a lot of musicians' music, because, like, it's so hard to be a successful musician oh, nowadays. What? One second, Nathan, I deafened like, myself. It, <laughs> Spotify, it, yeah, Spotify and shit is so, like, you know bad for people who make music so like I also even they get, keep actively yeah. making it worse yeah um so like i get the whole thing it's just uh you know it's dumb it's dumb the way that twitch d deals with it the way youtube deals with it is mostly okay um it at least makes sense but yeah uh, and i still don't think you know if i play a little bit of a song in my fucking 30 minute long video that they could monetize the entire fucking video because the people who own that yeah. song that's horse shit youtube um who was i listening to or like that they could partially block i played okay in a stream when i was streaming the cube escape games a couple months ago back in december and i've been meaning to do more streaming but i just don't and i don't know why but I played some of that, and I was like, oh, this music sounds like the theme song to fucking Twin Peaks. I pop open the theme song to Twin Peaks on YouTube, play it for literally, and I counted, two seconds. And they yeah. blocked the YouTube uh, VOD uh, in, like, five or six countries or whatever. And it's like, I think fair use is, like, anything under 30 seconds, so... Yeah, it is. That's like actually, I think it's fifteen seconds is 15. the thing. Yeah, uh, fifteen total. Like you can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna loop this fifteen second bit of a song. Once you play like over fifteen, they can do yeah. anything you want, even if it's the same section. But it's also like, if you make a full fucking video, like mm -hmm. an you make some like half hour video and use two seconds. Of like some like song or like some beat that they just go like oh that sounds like one of ours they can take uh, all the revenue for a thirty minute video that they didn't fucking make they don't deserve it yeah um, but they're like, just like I'm oh sure, no but uh, it's all the, the, the everyone came here for the content for the fucking two seconds of gold digger yeah that you put in there I'm sure when I make my Star Wars video John Williams is gonna take all my money yeah. He's like, oh, how dare he? <laughs> fucking, fucking, uh, oh, what's his name? The the guy who I don't like who's a composer because he, all of his fucking music sounds the same. Hans Trent Zimmer. Reznor? Hans Zimmer. Oh. No, Trent Reznor's great, actually. Um, Hans Zimmer, when I made that Dunkirk video, I literally played only one part of the movie with audio 
and he took all the money in that video. Which... Well, technically not him, but his people. Yeah, I mean he did it. He did it. To like me, there was personally, um, there's a uh, a, ra- a famous uh, some like famous internet rapper, Baby No Money, mm-hmm. and he just gives his money. Like he literally is like full indie rapper. Yeah. Like he d- he has a label for like he worked with the label for one song, but also it's his biggest song, so he needed some help. But mm-hmm. mostly he just kind of drops music and uses like social media and shit to like spread it, and also TikTok helps him out a lot because his songs are very tiktokable like got yeah. those good sections you can cut out so okay. what he does though is he's like he's like friends with like a bunch of like gaming youtubers and he's just like yeah just take my music and use it in the video i don't fucking care but then like when he made la 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 which has like his highest numbers yeah because it got played on the radio and shit and like the states he uh he can't he's like can't use that one though a, a record label owns that one now but yeah. any of his other songs just like fuck it go for it Wild, yes. dude. So we got to get more indie uh, artists out there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I wonder if you could use Jeff Rosenstock's music. Because he's part of a label, but it's like his label. I don't know. Steve Subtick, I think, lets it be used because he streams. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, anyway, BlizzCon's dumb. Twitch is dumb. <laughs> they announced some dumb fucking Diablo or whatever. I don't care. Diablo 2 reforged. <laughs> But it's the Vicarious Visions guys who are working on that, so it'll probably actually be a good remake. But why? Just just put Diablo 2 back out there. We don't need fucking remakes of games that were fine when they were around. Yeah. Remake bad games. Uh, did you see the thing with Twitch, though? How Twitch handled the uh, Metallica stream? How? He they just muted it like fifteen seconds in and then started playing like random lo fi beats and like shit that sounded like RPG music. That's funny. Yeah. Damn dude, Twitch actually, gaming's not but if, uh like if Twitch could actually, instead of making me listen to Metallica, play fucking Nobuo Uematsu's Final Fantasy music, it'd be way better. <laughs> yeah, instead of it's like you see like these old yeah. ass men just like fucking rocking out and then you just hear like one wicked angel. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that'd be incredible. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, let's fucking go. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh, oh, also, no, oh, also, one second. Sorry, the chat was also filled with um. Uh, people saying like, uh, like like free Hong Kong and shit, and like. <laughs> Is this some out of season April Fool's joke or like, oh, you guys don't own phones? Just like memeing the shit out of it the whole times. Oh, you guys don't own phones? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Society has evolved past the need for Blizzard. <laughs> yeah. Break uh let's get let's get Taff back in here. Let's revive him so he can be the trust breaker. Who? I learned about what? I I learned about uh, Taft, like President Taft. Yeah, that he was very much against. He was like very antitrust. So like uh. Disney, Amazon, he would break. He would do his best to break them all up. But he hated black people, and he was a he pretty much like did the stuff. Like was like, hey, we're gonna go invest in other countries and then send the military to protect our investments. Yeah. I mean, you but know. But domestically, with that economy, great. They but also they he can't... fired all the black people because he thought they weren't uh, intelligent enough to have jobs and to vote. They can't all be Jimmy Carter, our unproblematic king. Yeah. <laughs> the only yeah. unproblematic U.S. president. Yeah, sure. The only one that's actually a decent human person. Um, Barack Obama... Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, drone strike a school bus full of children. Why don't you? Yeah, but they aren't American children. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's how you fucking white Democrats sound. <laughs> Listen, um, we're fine with drone striking children, but we need more women and LGBTQ people and people of color to be drone striking those ch- foreign children. Yeah. Um, so, on our last piece of news here. We gotta uh, pour one out into our mouths because we're partying. Rush Limbaugh is fucking dead. Baby. 
Husband uh, Ball is a giant uh, piece of shit. Hold in, on, uh, Ian. His I'm entire life. Are you going to the right thing? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm pressing the button on my keyboard that plays the stock miso horny sound effect. Miso horny. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is that something he did? No. It's something similar to what he does. He's I, I was didn't... doing like a radio shock jock. Oh, okay. Vibe. So someone posted this fucking clip of him during I guess at the beginning of the Me Too. Oh, the consent thing? Made, the consent where he's like, the magical word these liberals love is consent. You can do whatever you want sexually if you have consent. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, sure. What's so yeah. wrong about that? And he's like, but if you don't have consent, then it's rape. And it's like, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's, no, but he's, he's like speaking about the it. Specific like, line, the specific line he used is, then the rape police come out. Yeah, Which the police rush, you mean. That's the regular police. <laughs> yeah. What a fucking... That was in 2016. Of Here come the rape was. police. Of course <laughs> it was. Idiot. This guy is a fucking cancer, and I wish he died even more painfully of worse cancer than he did. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, man. And also, I wish it happened, like, 50 years ago. Yeah, honestly, I thought he was already dead. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's like, fucking... he th he should have been a fucking stillborn, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um... And also, I added this because on like the same day, Prince Philip got put in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what the problem with fin Prince Philip is. Like, there I isn't one. I got him good. mixed up with his son. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was like, it's, I don't feel as good. Prince, about <laughs> Prince Charles is a monster. Prince Philip is a monster because he, he stood uh, by while yeah. the bad stuff was happening to what was her name? Diana. Diana. Thank you. I always forget. I always go like, yeah, Victoria, and I'm like, that hasn't that bitch hasn't been queen for 300 years. Yeah, yeah. So um, Prince Philip is definitely going to die soon because one, yeah. he is 99. He's ancient, <laughs> and he's in the hospital, and he and he already looks like a corpse. And Prince Charles, who was 72, went and visited him in the hospital because remember, royalty has different privileges than us. Mm -hmm. So it, the dude is definitely going to die soon. Yeah, but also he's 99. Whatever. Yeah. I'm sure people will be like, oh, gone too soon. It's like, gone too late, motherfucker. Yeah. Maybe, like my I fucking, don't know, we my shouldn't grandpa have is 92 and Yeah, we shouldn't. But like, my grandpa is 92, and if they told me tomorrow he died, I'd be like, oh, I feel bad for my dad. That's about it. Or like, you feel bad because you never get to, I don't know, say the shit that you meant to say to them? I don't know. I don't care. Oh. Uh. It is he's like dementia now. Like well yeah, not really. He's true. like still functioning, but he I don't think he he'll he won't recognize me when I walk in anymore. So whatever, I think I talk shit on my grandpa too often. <laughs> um Yeah. <laughs> I keep seeing this fucking picture where it looks like someone went all smooth on like on Prince Philip. Like they took the smoothing tool and it looks so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my and, god. And the tweet is from MILF Defender at Safe Web User says, I don't know, I think Prince Philip looks fine. <laughs> oh, and then he, he tweeted, Damn, this blew up. Read Marx and Lenin. Communism will win. <laughs> Thanks, MILF Defender. Way to go. Yeah. What a legend. What a legend. So, Prince Philip, old, gonna die anyways. Hopefully, whatever he has, he transfers to his son Charles. Yeah. <sighs> you know, one thing you could say about Prince Philip is that he's a lot like a dragon in that he's <laughs> fucking terrifying. Also, it's time for the weeks. So let's talk about stuff. Mm -hmm. Yay. I'm most, most of the way through Yakuza 7. Poggers. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm in chapter 14. Um... I made a terrible decision once because I got multiple characters at level 30 for their jobs. Uh, oh, their then, jobs are at level 30. Yeah. I, also, I was like, how are you that far at level 30? I'm just good, dude. <laughs> what level's your main characters? Uh, well, like their main level shit. Like 55. Okay. 50, the, I told like you that. what the max level you need is, right? Or did I yeah, just you said TV? sixty, right? If you are above sixty, you are uh, f stronger than the final boss. Nice. 
and it made, and I was at level 80, so that was a joke of a fight. Mm. Yeah, I'm not at uh, Kamurocho yet, because yeah, I was like... literally the final part. Okay, because I was like, uh, I was like, okay, I know you fight Kiryu in chapter 14, because it's called, like, passing down the title or whatever. Passing the torch, I think is yeah. what they call it. Yeah, passing so you torch. fight Kiryu so I was like, real is yeah. hard. Uh, but... Yeah. Not hard if you have two women in your party. Yeah, the problem is they're my lowest leveled characters. Yeah, but even then, it doesn't matter because they don't take hits. They literally will not be touched. I'm more worried about them doing damage. That's Well, they can do... It's more like they're just there because Aerie has some decent damaging moves. Yeah. Um, But um, you kind of just want... Uh, what's her name? Seiko, just to heal. Like if... Cause, well, she doesn't she have healing idle. moves. Oh, fuck. Seiko is, like, too powerful when she's an idol. She's a healing. hostess. My only healer is uh, Nanba, and I don't use him. You might... Okay, so it might be beneficial just to, like... Or wait, no, I, I, I put Itchy back to Hero, so I guess he could... He can heal people. He can. It's that his healing max is out at 300 health. Mm. I have Even lots of like, items. I buy lots of items, so... You want to, like, met, like heal everyone. At, well, I guess you only have to heal the dude, so you can, like... Yeah, you just... It sucks that, like, at by the end of the game, you pretty much just have to have, like... You're obviously... Ichiban's gonna be in the party, because you can't swap him out. But you're mm -hmm. just gonna always have, like, Jun Gihan there. Yeah, uh, I switched because him... Because poison is broken. Every enemy can be poisoned, and it does, like, a sixteenth of their health. So after, like, sixteen turns, you just win. Uh, um... I Actually, switched I like him 30, from his original because he got to level 30. So he is now uh, an enforcer. Just switch him back. Yeah, I guess before the fight, yeah. But, uh, Unless poison... Wait, what? maybe poison... If poison shot's a character skill, you don't have to. No, rapid f shot is, but I don't think poison uh, shot is. But I never used poison shot. Uh, me neither, until I got to Kiryu, and then he literally beats the, like... Fighting Kiryu with Jim Gihan using Poison shot, uh, shot just, like, decimates him. It does a lot of damage, like, the actual hit, and it is, like, a guaranteed poison every time. Damn. So you have to use it because every single time... Have you fought Kiryu yet? No, I haven't. He goes through, like, stance changes. Oh. But every time he goes through a stance change, it clears his ailments, so you have to, like, Poison Shot him again. Hmm. Uh, so you just keep Jun Han alive. You just kind of defend with Ichiban because he will focus Ichiban a lot more and just have everyone beat up, <laughs> beat up on him. Nice. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think I think next episode of this show we'll probably do our spoiler cast as a separate. Yeah, we'll do a little separate yeah, bonus. The, uh, I'm fine with spoiling like Kiryu being a fight in the game because it's like in the main yeah. trailer. But that finale, oh boy. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you know I'm just at the beginning of chapter 14, you know I just learned a very important piece of info. Yes, that is a piece of info we cannot tell. And you know what? <laughs> that it's fight... really fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Can it, I be it honest? Kind of it's really it, dumb. It is, but I love it. <laughs> um... Yeah. That fight against that character. It's like, it's also very, I hate it. it's simultaneously really stupid and pretty predictable. Yeah, once he, once he was like, I did this thing. And it's like, oh, okay, I see where this is going. Oh and especially God. since it's like, uh, these, these, these other things kind of match up a little better than how they're perceived. So, yeah. Yeah. But I think it's really cute. Uh, I think, well, that, uh, we'll talk about it next week. Yeah, we'll talk about it next week. Yeah. Um, moving on because we don't want to we don't want to take this episode super long. So, with we're hopping down. What are you What are you doing right now? What's your um, What's on your list? Well, I beat Cyberpunk this week. Oh, you beat it! I got the worst ending possible. Oh, because you didn't do enough side missions, or oh, I did all the side missions. The side the the it was joked about at the meet when the game came out. I'm like, it can't be that bad. It is literally you sit on a roof. With Johnny, and you say to him, and he says, who are you going to go with? The corporations or your friends? Shit. <laughs> I punched my mic, so that might sound bad. Yep. Okay. Um, you go with the corporations or your friends. 
and but then he's sitting there and he's like corporation bad but if you go with your friends some of them might die <laughs> so i was like you know what obviously this is the ch- this is the one where it's like this is how the game ends yeah so i'm just gonna go to do the corporation one first and see how bad it is it is horrible <laughs> like i fucking go th- the mission is like it's they try and like give you the same vibe as like you're doing the Johnny stuff. Like, you know, like the part at the end of the prologue. Yeah. When you get to play as Johnny. Yeah. I think they're trying to be like, this is your moment at the Arasaka Tower. That you're this is your Johnny moment. And if you have all the upgrades and or like if you went and did all the side quests with Rogue, you will have Johnny's pistol as well. Mm. Which not a great weapon, not gonna lie. It's like the best it's the fastest pistol you can get, like that has high damage, but the Archangel that you get from, uh, what's his name? Actually, wait, no, I think you get Crash from him. I got a gun called the Archangel, and it's like a pistol I put a scope on, and I literally one-shot people by shooting them in the feet. Nice. Like, that game, uh, my damage with pistols is busted, but Johnny's gun just didn't get the stats I wanted when I upgraded it, so it just kind of sucks. I mean, I just, I just punch people yeah, so you also, I can also punch people. That's like my secondary main. So I get in a fight. The final fight, it's Adam Smasher. The guy who, like, walks by, sees the girl and the beat, like, you know, El- El- Evelyn Parker. And he says, oh. you look like a nice cut of fuckable meat. And that's the final boss, actually. Uh. So I fought, I punched him once and lowered 25% of his health. And I'm like, well, that's the fight. Ooh. That's funny. And then I shot him, like, with the pistol, and I'm like, there's 30% gone. <laughs> I'm too strong, because even though, like... That's fun. Even though it's the Honestly, final yeah, mission... I, I love being too big. Yeah, but even though it's, like, the final mission, the game was like, oh, yeah, you can beat the game at level 30. You don't have to be level... Like, anything above is just easy mode. Yeah, so... That's fun. I, I don't know. And then know. after I did that, I had quests that I hadn't done still, so I went back, did those, kind of just, like, fit, cleaned up some more stuff. I'm going to do, like, the better ending. That's about it. Nice. Okay. Uh, Oh, but the the problem with the... Do you mind if I just spoil it? Uh, uh Okay, just a little bit, because I'm not done. I didn't, okay, so I the... the it in a while. If I think you might find the corporation ending a little interesting because they like put you on a space station <laughs> oh. to like heal your thing, but then you get trapped in this like loop of them performing tests on you every day, and like it slowly breaks your character, and then uh, the then they just go like, oh, by the way, none of this worked. You're still gonna die. <laughs> That's so fucking and they, dumb. And they offer something to you that it's like, well, this is truly the worst ending. Because I'm sure there's some nightmarish shit. Like, if I say yes, like, put my brain into the cloud like you did with Johnny. Mm-hmm. They'll just, like, be like, ha, we lied. We just wanted your powerful body and all your skills. And now, like, someone else is inside of you. Like, Adam Smasher takes over your fucking body or some shit. I don't know. I just rejected it. And they sent me back to Earth and said, like, you're going to die in three months. See ya. And then you get, like, these little, like, calls that, like, if you've made all your friends in the game, they'll, like, tell you what's going on. Oh, like, like the end them. of Undertale. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Um, but they'll just kind of they'll just kind of sit there and, be, like, the all the Kados people will be like, you're always welcome here because you're family to us. Uh, if you, I romance Judy, and I think she was mad at me because she was like, I left Night City. I'm not telling you where I'm going. Peace. <laughs> oh, she was pissed that you left her? Because there's a part where you get control and you can, like, call people. And when you call Judy, she fucking yells at you to get back to Earth right now. And you don't, obviously. So I guess she leaves you. Because technically you left her. The thing... um, I've said... I've made uh, reference to this multiple times. When our group plays the Cyberpunk tabletop game, whatever that winds up being. Yeah. I had an idea for a one-shot campaign, which was, uh, I guess, light spoilers. But it would be like you guys, you guys would all make like one-off characters. This is like the only story that we do with them, and we just do it, and it has a set ending or whatever. But it's yeah. it's you guys get sent to a space station prison, um, oh, and cool. the sto- and the story would just be, 
in my mind, the story that I would be like kind of leading you guys to do um, would be you guys trying to like effectively do not just a prison break because you're in space, you're fucked, but just basically try to you you would overthrow the guards and turn the prison into like a socialist paradise. Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's like literally my bit would be like. Can you guys figure out how many of these characters are real? And if you convince them to join your crew, you have to actually give them something tangible. So I'm like, okay, you got you have to effectively, in order to win the scenario, there's just too much threat. But if you could actually empower all the other characters, then you could win. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. But yeah, un- ultimately though, that would ha- that would have to be a one-off story because I wouldn't want those characters to come back to Earth. Yeah, so what uh, you you watched Versus, which you were bragging about in the chat, because you're a man of the world. Actually, maybe I'll talk to my sister. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Versus is cool. Uh, so Versus, in case you haven't heard of it, is a movie from the year 2000, directed by uh, Ryuhei Kitamura. And uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. I said in the chat that uh, I think it's a cool movie, but it's not necessarily a good movie. And by that, I mean, it is, it's like, it's an indie movie from Japan. It was made on like a 10 grand budget, something like that. 10 grand Canadian or 10 grand American ish. Right. Yeah. And so it's of the genre of low budget movie where it takes place entirely within a forest, which you're like, oh, that's lame because those movies tend to suck because they're that low budget and they they only have one place and it's a place that you shoot for free because nobody owns a fucking forest but this movie is very cool it's a ryuhei kitamura is like a big action director and you know he like loves shit like the matrix and the evil dead and so this is a movie where like you know an escaped criminal has to fight off like yakuza and zombies from like you know, in this forest that's magic. And then, oh, bless fuck. you. Yeah, and then there's you. there's this big bad, because it all goes back to this story between this samurai and this uh, immortal bad guy. And the fight scenes are all super sick. Like, they're gory and weird, and the special effects are fun, and, like, there's all these cool anime poses and all this, like, cool fight choreography. It's fun. It's a really... It's a neat movie. It's also two hours of a fucking forest. <laughs> and so I was like, why am I bored when everything in this movie, when it's in action, is super cool? And the answer is, because the story's not particularly good. And it's all in a forest. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, one location. Enjoy it. Yeah. And so it's still something I would re- definitely recommend people check out. As a, Again, it's a, it's a cool movie, especially for like 10K. Like they have some really cool effects. They do a lot of effects where they will have, like, a character gets a hole fucking blown right through their chest, and you see through the hole. Then you see somebody's, like, on the other side. It's just super mm. cool. Oh, shit. My phone's not on vibrate. That's annoying. Um, all right. But, uh, yeah, like, I, I think it's a really fun flick, uh, and it's worth, it's worth checking out. But, uh, yeah, it's just a unfortunate it is hampered by that budget but I I still think it's really cool that's nice yeah I'm sure if there was like you know a little more experience on that set probably could have well it's honestly it's just budget really to be able elevated to have, it it's it's budget like the talent is there the style is there it's it's simply just a lack of of money because like that director would go on to do like he did uh, Godzilla Final Wars he did uh, a number of other films as well, uh, Midnight Meat Train, stuff like that. It's uh, which have budgets and and are, you know, have multiple mm. locations. It's just a uh, ultimately yeah. it's a lack of money that causes the problems. It'd be funny if like you could, there was like one tree that you could always like see. Like <laughs> wow, they just shot in this like one centralized area. It's not that they definitely had multiple places within the forest. Like at the very least, they did plan quite a lot. It's just a, yeah, you know, cool. Yeah, 
So what do you yeah. got? You said that you're the Apex Legend. I am the Apex Legend, yes. Um, so I, I guess started, you started playing it again? I started playing Apex again, and like I played for like two hours uh, like the first night I had like installed it again, and I won. Wow. So I am the Apex Legend. <laughs> Uh, the Way game is really fun now because, well, it's back to, it was fun when it first came out, but then like, you know, the sweaty tryhards come out and there was only mm-hmm. one game mode. So it's like, oh, well, here I am doing everything I can trying to become the Apex legend. But like, it just was annoying and the loot was shit and there wasn't like, it was unbalanced. It was a fresh game. It was brand new. So I stopped playing and I didn't play for two full fucking years. <laughs> And I downloaded it again. And now there is cross-platform play. That's so cool. I just feel instantly better when I... Because most of those people cannot compete with me anymore because I am on a keyboard and mouse. They still can. I can still get my ass kicked by them. But odds are I, I would win a gunfight against a controller player because I can do more precise movements. But also, yeah. which makes the game really fun, is they have this event right now because the two-year anniversary actually just passed so they have this event called lock and load and there's like uh, i'm sure it's up by the time the podcast comes out but when you lock when you lock fuck when you enter in you start with the mozambique the shittiest weapon in the game but it's a weapon all the loot you find on the ground is like guaranteed to be blues or purples and like yellows are really rare and there's like a red tier for armor now so it's just like you become super strong super fast instead of having to be like, oh, I got to go through like 80 fucking locations to hopefully get a good weapon so that I don't get fucked up because some guy hot dropped and like got lucky. So it's just the game is a lot more fun when you can kit yourself out and not have to be worried the whole time. And they also have multiple maps now. So like there's a map rotation, like every hour and a half they change it. Yeah. So I think there's just two maps. But like it's like you play on the original map, which has been heavily modified now, or you play on a new map which has a vehicle you can drive. That's and cool. also the game has it has duos. So you can So you can uh, go duos and trios. Can you solo? No, solos isn't in the game because I think they decided that solos is bro like some characters are better than others when um. like in a one on one gunfight. So they were like, yeah, duos at least, so like you guys can like have some sort of assistance. Yeah, have someone raise you and shit. Yeah, instead of just instantly dying, and then also like knockdown shields become worthless because what's the point of one unless you have the gold one? And then as soon as you, if you got knocked down, the person would be like, oh, clearly they have the gold shield. <laughs> mm. Unless they made it that everyone had it or something like, oh, if you stay alive on the ground for fifteen seconds, you like wake yourself back up or some shit. Yeah. But yeah, so solos doesn't exist, but duos is a ton of fun because like I if it's just me and Gavin playing, which it was yesterday, it's just us. We don't have to worry about another team and gunfights or like, oh look, there's two people. Where'd that third come from? Oh my god. Yeah. Uh so yeah. would you would you say that you're number one victory royale? Yeah, Fortnite, <laughs> we about to get down. Get down. Get down. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, yeah absolutely. Except Fortnite sucks dick, <laughs> and they Just put Chun Li and Rio in, and once again Chun Li looks janked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we yeah, didn't talk about the cool fucking now. Cruella de Vil trailer. I just realized, but who cares? Eh. It's it another lo- live action Disney movie. Looks, it looks kind of fun. It looks like she's kind of like. Um, it looks I'm like sure. a. Honestly, it looks like a better version of, of Joker, like one that's actually like, <laughs> uh, like in, an enjoyable film. We live in a society where people judge me for having a, a coat made of dogs. She just wants to murder dogs. Is that so much? Yeah. To fucking what's so ask? wrong? Fucking Ag- Agnes did it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, um, also, I got I got Bowser's Fury, and it's really fun. Yeah, Bowser's Furry. Yeah, Bowser's Furry. Uh, is Which really that was fun. the original game. The original yeah. game is Bowser's Furry. Yeah, uh, Bowser's Furry, by the way, really fun. Uh, yeah, it's, it's another, re- an, another game they ported because it sold poorly on the Wii U. Yeah, and it's yeah. it outsold the Wii U version, even though this is a port. 
Yeah, but also with new content and stuff. Yeah, the new content's really good. It's like if Mario Sunshine was Mario Odyssey, but also with 3D worlds, physics, and controls. Yeah. I heard from someone that the Bowser, like the actual Bowser's Furry level, is bigger than like Odyssey levels. Yeah. Okay. So the I I don't know about like the final level if that's what you mean, but it's it's all like every level, all these small individual levels that you can come back to, kind of like Galaxy, uh, all exist in one open world. Okay. All the individual levels exist in one big open world, which is super cool. Um, and I don't know if, if the big open world is bigger than some of the, the Odyssey levels, because there's some really big ones in Odyssey, like, um, the yeah. desert one especially is huge, so... Uh, it feels huge, but it's mostly because it's kind of empty. I guess. But I, yeah. I don't know if it's physically bigger than, like, the desert one. I think it might be around the same size, yeah, maybe smaller. Also depends on traversal and, like, yeah. things you can move around in. Yeah. So, um... But it is it is really cool, it is really cool. I would say pick it up if it goes on sale. But it's a fucking like, Nintendo I'm sure, game. you know, like the Bowser's Castle, like it's like World Seven or whatever. And yeah, uh, oh that Odyssey. level's that level's big but small. <laughs> I think it. Yeah, that that's why I mean. Because like, how do you get around it? You got to use that fucking dude with the nose and like yeah. jump up and shit. And it's, uh, I hated replaying through that level. Really, I th- I find that level fun. No, but, like, when you're playing through it for the story, fine. When you're going back to, like, f- find some moons, garbage. <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't have that problem with it, but that's just yeah. me. I But I like yeah. that. I like using that guy. I find him really fun. Like oh, that. he's fun. Yeah. I like I like his little nose. It's cute. Uh, but, yeah, check out, check out the Mario 3D World slash Bowser's Furry. Again, I would, yeah. I would say check it out when it goes on sale, but it's a first-party Nintendo game. Yeah, so um, never... It will yeah. never go on sale because Nintendo also doesn't do their Nintendo Greatest Hits thing anymore, which would drop the price to like 30 bucks, but yeah. haven't done it for a single Switch game yet. Except for Sushi Striker. <laughs> sure. Which goes on sale constantly. Um, yeah. The physical versions, I guess, go on sale sometimes or like maybe get it used or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. I, guess, if, I mean that if you haven't played Mario 3D World. It, or if you have, rather. If you haven't, I mean, just pick it up now if you want, or whenever. Yeah, it's, it's Mario 3D game. World is a good game. It's it's one of the best games on the Wii U that isn't by Platinum. Yeah. Fuck, I can't mess with that. It makes too much noise. Uh, um, you got anything else? Well, I got Fast and the Furious, and it's really quick. It's just that we all lost it at this scene that I have ignored way too many times. But we've all... Everyone in the call had seen the tank scene before, so we were just looking for anything else <laughs> new. Mm-hmm. But we all kind of collectively ignored the dumbest part of that whole fucking movie. Yeah. Is, one... So the way the tank gets stopped is that uh, Tyrese's car, he, like, wraps a cable or like a titanium cable around like the gun and then the car gets crushed and then it gets like dragged behind the tank like an anchor does not stop the tank at all but so so they decide oh we're gonna stop this 70 ton tank by getting this two ton mustang off the side of the bridge and it like latches on to one of the like supports on the bridge and it causes the whole tank to flip forward A two-ton car. (laughs) The cable would just snap. Like, that's what would happen. There's no way. There's no fucking way this would cause it to flip. But at the time, Letty is on top of the tank. And she gets propelled forward. And and Dom's like, I gotta save her. Is like half outside of the car. Somehow full, like, foot on the gas still. He drives into the side of, like, the railing. Flings himself forward, so fucking tackles her in midair, and rolls her and crashes into a car windshield. And later on, like a scene later, she says, how did you know that car would be there to break our fall? The car wouldn't break your fall. You'd still fucking die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we all laughed really hard because that is so fucking stupid. Like... 
it's so like we you give you, well, we just give up with the physics would you say, logic sometimes. Hold on, would but you that say was that that too means, much. Does that mean that um, Fast and Furious takes place in the Dying Light universe? Sure. I don't know what remember, that means. <laughs> remember in Dying Light? No, I never played. The hay bale equivalent uh, of things you can jump into without receiving fall damage in that game is yeah. cars, parked cars. Oh, that's so dumb. It's ridiculous. But of yeah. course, Vin Diesel is just Superman in this yeah. fucking movie. Like, he gets shot with a bullet <laughs> at the beginning of that movie, and we just like, wow, we're really surprised he did bounce off of his fucking skin. You talking about Fast and Furious so much bled over to, like, when I was talking to uh, my fam last night. I was talking, we were just talking about, like, movies and stuff, and I mentioned, when I tried to describe who Vin Diesel was, like, we were just randomly talking about actors. Yeah. Uh, and, like, I was like, he's the guy that looks like a thumb. <laughs> yeah. Man, love Fast and the Furious. And then we got to see Furious 7 where, like, Vin Diesel and The Rock hate it's each other now. Without you, my friend. You don't have to sing it. <laughs> and I would tell you all about it when I see you again. Look, I'm not gonna def- I'm not gonna keep trying to defend it because I think that's a beautiful scene and they did their <laughs> best with what they had. <laughs> It's a better know. send off than like everyone else who's just like, oh, that actor who died in real life, he died in the movie too. Yeah, family members who are at the premiere enjoy watching your th- dude die again. Like, they they decided to retire him in like a way that it was just cute and better. And then the song is about like, oh, whatever, you're dead, but we'll see you again later at some point because we believe in heaven. I guess uh, they're definitely a religious family. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just like, it's corny. Yeah. I, I don't know, I like I, it. I just don't think, I, I don't think the movie, like, that's like just the real world in, uh, infecting the movie in that way, because it's like, the movie hasn't yeah, earned, if the, if, if the movie Walker... hasn't earned the, dra- the dr- like... The dramatic feelings, like it's not, it's it's not enough of a. I'm not gonna argue about yeah. this. We're just gonna move on. Uh, to the spoiler part of the week. Yeah. Wandavision. Wandavision, baby. I love how they the fucking full spoilers. Not even gonna lead into it. I love how for the entire time we're just like, oh yeah, Agatha Harkness is yeah. Agnes, and then this yeah. episode they're like, she's like, hi. I'm Agatha Harkness, and then she gets a yeah. cute theme song. It's so funny because I thought it was like one of those Marvel things where it's like, oh, she's named Agnes, her real name's Agnes. It's just she's based on Agatha Harkness. So the but fact that she's a liar, uh, she's literally Agatha Harkness. Uh, yeah. That theme song, Munster's bit, where she explains how she was the fucking villain the whole time is so good. I love good. it. It was it's, really good. It was the best part of the episode. I was literally, like, smiling all the way through it. Like, who cares about literally everything else that happened? But that it's fucking part was like... Yeah, like, Monica Rambeau is getting her superpowers that we already knew she would get. Um, yep. uh, uh, Kat Dennings... Kat Darcy was funny, I guess. Yeah, I love... Dar- she's great in this. Uh, yeah, but, like... Just, I don't... I don't like, know why I you didn't like a the lot. I I watched a lot of Modern Family. I fucking hate Modern Family. I don't like the the way they like, filmed this episode. I think Modern Family sucks, but this being a bit on like Parks and Rec, Modern Family, The Office, just... uh, like they had to do it. <laughs> it's a good meme. Thank you. Um, and the uh, fuck, sorry, Nathan just sent me this the smudge the cat meme, uh, but it's fucking <laughs> Wanda pointing at Monica Rambo. Um. I said that to George right after. Like the <sighs> George is like he, he's he's more of a Marvel Comics fan than I am. So yeah. like he he knows like a lot of a lot of stuff. Uh and so like it's it's fun to text him after the episode to be like yeah, like I literally right at the end of the episode I was like, "Yo, fucking it's uh. yeah. Uh and now Vision knows his, like what what happened. Yeah, he, knows he has died. I thought the and episode. I, I honestly, I really liked this episode. I thought it was like one of the funniest they've had. Uh, it's just that whole style of editing. Like yeah. 
fucking The Office ruined sitcoms for me for a long time. Oh yeah, I don't uh, listen. I don't like the. The Office. Office did it much better, but the Modern Family equivalent is just like you guys aren't even trying. Yeah, uh, The Office listen. at least like did an, did an episode in the later seasons where they were like, oh, the film crew actually made the episode now, like the the documentary, and then they watch it and they gained a bunch of internet fame for it and stuff, yeah. which is more interesting, but also is like just. But Sometimes you ignore it. Parks don't and Rec you like is a little it? more interesting to me. Don't you like it when show. when every character in this show gyms the camera? Because I thought it was... Like, it's actually funny in this. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny when they gym the camera in this show, whereas yeah. it's not funny in other shows. Do you think because of that comic book thing where they were, like... <laughs> There was people who were genuinely like, oh, they're doing, they're doing Modern Family. Modern Family's take on the office. There's an aerospace engineer. Oh my god! And then like it comes up and they're like, oh, I'm mad. But like that never happened. I've well, first of all, I know there's a lot of people who want a Reed Richards to show up, which they haven't casted him, and they would have announced it at an event. He's too big of a character to to not announce it. Yeah, an event. like if he literally just showed up in this. It'd be like, oh, that was that really would be fisted. Re- yeah, and it would that also be like not. It'd be anticlimactic that he didn't show up in a fucking actual film. Yeah, you know. Um, and secondly, people keep saying they want John Krasinski as Reed Richards. It's and he has like it, a face. I guess it, and he's getting kind of the gray on the side. I guess of his it head, only like, works because Reed Richards is a huge piece of shit, and I fucking hate <laughs> John Krasinski. Also, he's tall. So it does it's, work. Like, yeah. uh, again, they're both uh, people whom I dislike uh, as humans. But, like, I hate, I hate John Krasinski, and I don't want him to be Reed Richards. Yeah, I just, like, don't... <laughs> uh, also, like... I, I won't watch care. the movie. If he's Reed Richards, I fucking <laughs> won't watch it. I, I just really am like, yeah, just do what you want. Yeah. Like, I'd, I'd rather you give it to, like, some actor who's, like, less known and give isn't, it to like, fucking Rahul. Off. Give it to Rahul Kohli. That would be great, but I've don't tweet some... that at him because he's so tired of it. Yeah, but I've seen some art of the such, and uh, I like him. Yeah, as, I like him as Reed. Yeah, but remember, Reed Richards isn't white, guys. We can't. I mean, fuck. Reed Richards is white. <laughs> we can't. He, he's a different race. It's not allowed. Yeah. Yeah. It's so just like just... Wally West. Yeah. Who cares? Just fucking. Uh, yeah. If they can do the job, they can do the job. Yeah. Um. I loved the scene where Monica got her powers. That was like actually really cool. That they I thought used, like, I thought it was interesting how she didn't just pop off as being like I'm super. I'm Captain Marvel too. Yeah, <laughs> but not because her powers are based off of a different thing and how she has like that. Vid- well, she like, was she was Captain Marvel first. She was, but so, like her new character, it's like Captain Marvel esque, but she's not. I'm sure doesn't I'm have like sh- the same powers. I'm sure they are gonna. Well, she never had the same powers, but. Uh, I'm sure they're probably going to call her Photon just because her mom's call sign was Photon. Um, yeah, and I makes think sense. that is her car- his in the current continuity. That's who she is. No, she's been Photon. She's been oh, spe- she's per- currently Spectrum. She's Spectrum now. Okay. Or maybe she won't be Spectrum because, or maybe she would be Spectrum because she doesn't want to keep living in her mother's shadow because she seems to have some issues with her despite the fact that she's dead and she but photon's her, her name in the comics and it's her mom's name here like i think it just makes sense you know yeah i don't they'll they'll figure it out um yeah, yeah i don't know maybe it's i just didn't vibe with the wanda stuff it just well it's her it's it's her me being like kind of it's her coming to terms and being like more self-aware about the fact that she's doing this it's she's the problem right now except it wasn't her she's yeah i don't i think she's causing it to happen but she's definitely being influenced by agatha yeah Yeah. um i'm thinking episode eight is going to be mostly flashback what do you mean so like the next episode I think he's going to be mostly flashbacks. It's going to say, like, how did the fucking thing, the hex, get built, right? How did, you know, Scarlet Witch is super powerful, but she's never been this level well, of okay. powerful. When you say flashback, I always I always think of, like, oh, like, we're just going to, it's going to be the fucking bottle it's, episode. It's going to be Explanation City, baby. Yeah, that that's would be, I would call that the exposition episode. Yeah, well, it's not, it's... I wouldn't say it's a bottle episode. I think you're thinking of community. Well, no, no, I know. Episode. But when you when you say flashbacks, yeah. what I'm thinking of 
is a bottle episode in the original concept uh, concept where it's like oh where it just shows do. episodes oh you're thinking of like yeah. a cl- clip show is what you're thinking yeah of. but isn't that also just called a bottle episode because it's like they're also they're all it, stuck in one room because they don't have the budget to actually make an episode yeah that's what oh, like a bottle episode tends to use only the main cast and only like the main set yeah um so yeah like it's super cheap i'm saying like flashback episode where it actually shows just the things that lead up to the actual show. The oh, three, okay. So the three prior, weeks between okay. Avengers Endgame and episode one of WandaVision. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it'll be a good episode. I also I think they got this. The sitcom stick is about to be dropped, like because yeah. we're in 2010 com- sitcoms. I'm trying yeah. to skip. I always think we skip 2000s, but we didn't because that was Malcolm in the Middle, which was last yeah. episode. But it's like that was like also kind of nineties. But yeah. then again, this is also kind of that 2000s. show bled from ninety to there, where like, but this felt very Modern Family, and Modern Family started in like two thousand twelve, I think. Yeah, but also it's Office, like especially the opening theme song. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it just it felt more Modern Family to me. Oh, actually, yeah. Modern Family started in two thousand nine. Yeah, so two thousands, two thousand six. I, I don't think we're going to get another sitcom episode unless next episode is literally the Agatha episode like the, of that show. It was Agatha what, all along. What if they do like a bottle episode, but it, the, the bottle is an incredibly intricate set. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's, they're, it's they're the in set that in basement, the, in except the, basement. the doors keep opening and it's like crazy shit that's going yeah. on. But it's like they're in one room. It's a bottle episode. Yeah. Um. Also, that uh, like right off the bat, let me just say that book's probably the dark hold. Uh, probably. And Do you think she's even gonna be like notice what's going on with her head. Like, actually, she's definitely gonna get like a big explanation because it looked like I'm gonna wipe your mind or whatever. Or yeah. We're gonna move forward with our plan. There's gonna be an explanation, or there's gonna be yeah. a flashback to be like Ag- Agatha was helping Wanda like learn her powers. I think what they're going to do here is Agatha is doesn't have the power to open up some like a portal or something so that Mephisto can come in. Yeah. So she's using Wanda who has seemingly endless power because of her uh, connection with the Mind Stone to open up a portal and using the hex as like a catalyst. And again the reason why I'm thinking we're getting a big flashback episode is there's some footage that we saw in trailers that was we saw the point of view of Wanda, well, what we now know from what we've seen, the point of view of Wanda stealing Vision's body or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, from her point oh, of view. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that uh, in the trailers. And I thought that was just like the kind of similar to the thing they did with the uh, other, with the couple where that trailer we see in the first episode, the guy, mm-hmm. the old guy who gets removed from the series because he asked too many questions. Yeah. Um. I think like him. Fuck, I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to phrase this. Because the, the scene that we see of that happening in the trailer is in color, and it's a, the set looks different. Like it's a, a black background behind them, and then they're not in black and white. So I yeah. just think that they're just like switching up the editing on some of them to be like, oh, this is where it fits into the show. You but, saw a trailer, but this is the actual. Way but that shot, shot it's shit. just they did different. You know, they did a s- different special effects pass on the trailer versus the the final shot because it's the same yeah, shot from the same angle. Whereas this is like we saw it from like the security camera angle, and this is a completely different camera angle. Yeah, um, that we saw. And on top of that, in the trailer, we also saw what looked like uh, Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda in like what she's wearing at the end of Winter Soldier. And we see, like, the Mind Stone in front of her of, like, probably when she gets her powers, right? Yeah. Well, technically, no, the Infinity Stones are gone again. Yeah. Like, maybe she's managed to make a new Wait. Mind Stone. No, they are Vision's head. Yeah, they are. But that's such a Thanos fucking... Thanos destroyed uh, them. Yeah, but then... I don't know. It's a weird... <laughs> it makes no sense to me. I know it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense about it? The fact... Okay, so... Captain America goes back in time at the end, in Endgame. Yeah. To the alternate uh, timeline that they stole all the 
stones from. And, and put them back. Yep. But then that timeline will still reach the same point with Thanos, but then the th- stones are destroyed, but then they still go Ian, back Ian, you forgot time. something. What? The Thanos of that timeline's dead. Oh, you're right. Because 2014 Thanos came to 2023, and they killed him and all his boys. Okay. Yeah, and you're they, right. And they stole 2014 Gamora. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that that makes sense now. I yep. forgot. I forgot that it's uh, that Thanos is no longer an issue in that universe. So that universe has their Infinity Stones. But yep. Uh, the current universe does not, and we're going to ignore the, that universe forever now, Ex- until the Loki show, which takes place in that universe. Which I'm sure will somehow just be like, actually, Loki now just exists in our universe because fuck this. Also, well, there's an alternate universe thing caused by Agents of Shield because there is a un- there is a timeline where Agents of Shield went into a post apocalyptic world. <laughs> yeah, the, the and Agents used of Shield something to go back in time. Did yeah, time travel, alternate universe stuff too. Um, yeah but theirs was like so extreme yeah well they did one where it's like hydra took over the world and then they did one where it was like uh uh, they did one where they managed to like make a different world yeah uh where the triskelion still is fully standing what's that the triskelion's the building from winter soldier the shield headquarters Uh, building okay uh but yeah, anyway, uh, the bug, by the way, was Mephisto and slash or represents Mephisto because Mephisto came into this world as a fly in the comics. Mm. That was a cicada, wasn't it? I thought it was a fly. It looked all fly-esque. It looked, it looked really thick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure, whatever. It's a fucking bug. <laughs> Listen, all right. I said it once before and I'll say it again. I am whole hog for Mephisto in here. <laughs> yeah. All right. I need it. <sighs> yeah. If they do Mephisto, they can do Ghost Rider. And by that, I mean they can take Ghost Rider from just being an agent Bring of S.H.I.E.L.D. Nick Cage back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's um, also fucking Disney reacquired the rights to uh, the Netflix character shows. The Netflix characters. If they want to retcon them, how about we still be cool and just give Kristen Ritter her job back, though? Because I yeah. like her as Jessica Jones. Well, and I like um, Mike Coulter as Luke Cage. And, and I, Matt Murdock guy. And I like Charlie Cox at Matt Murdock. And it's and probably... Power Fist doesn't exist. You mean Iron Fist. <laughs> Iron Fist. Power Fist is a DC character, I think. Yeah. Or you were just getting Power Man, which is Luke Cage's name, mixed up with Iron Fist because they're, no, they're friends. No, I wasn't. <laughs> let's let's re, let's bring everyone back, but recast Iron Fist as I an don't, Asian it, guy. <laughs> it, sure. I mean, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Uh... But also, like, I don't really have a problem with that actor. My problem is with Scott Buck, who who showrun the first season. Apparently, season two of Iron Fist is quite good. Yeah, the the problem is just that at, at this point where we are at, you have to, even if the character was originally white, if they're like some Chinese mumbo jumbo shit going on, like you kind of just got to get a Chinese guy in there, especially to make the yeah. white guy the good guy and then to have the the Chinese guy be the villain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the that stuff is not so good you anymore. You can still have Danny Rand be, like, Asian-American and love rap music and, like, oh, yeah. be the son of somebody who owns a big company or it's whatever. It's like the Miles Morales thing. Like, yeah. when Donald Glover was like, you telling me there's no black kid in, in fucking Queens who likes photography and science? Like, yeah. There's millions of people there. They gotta like someone's gotta like something. Yeah. But yeah, so Danny Rand is such as far as I know of Danny Rand, pretty bland can be replaced by any race. I mean I like his, him in the comics. He's fun. You should That's everybody fine. should probably read The Immortal Iron Fist. That's a good run. Yeah. It's just in modern times people want the proper representation. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, again, the comics, he's literally, the character is white. You kind of can't change that in the comics because it's the comics. Because th- you need a major reboot it to do something yeah. like that. like Or create a secondary character, and therefore Danny Rand does not, is, just gets sidelined. Like how there's another Hulk, but it's like an Asian kid. Yeah, Amadeus Cho, who is actually like and, a, a very old character. He's been around a long time. He's just yeah, became... It's a t- the- He's become the Hulk, and isn't he like in he's his the Hulk first form? of all? He's the totally awesome Hulk. Yeah, but also isn't his Hulk like 
he controls that Hulk. Like, he's not like Bruce Banner, where it's, like, two people that he has I'm to not, learn to become one. I'm not familiar. I know Hulkling is technically, like, I, always Hulk, because he's, like, just, he's not... He's he's a scroll actually. He's not actually, the, like, a... The guy at my work who argues with me all the time about, like, cult, not cultural appropriation, but, like, he... He's one of those dudes who's like they're they're doing the opposite of whitewashing to Hollywood now. They're erasing all the white people or they're only villains. And I'm like, oh, all right, fine. I see how you're coming to that. Yeah, no, but I, I don't care. You know what? Yeah, they, <laughs> there's no white people in the MCU. You can't think of one. Yeah, no, no, I know. But like he he's a big he's a big Marvel Comics fan, and he he brought that he he doesn't like when a they kill off an old character and replace them with a new character but then keep the like he doesn't like that miles morales is called spider-man he wishes that my, he had a different name or some shit and i'm like i think that is so dumb but you do you man there's literally no arguing this yeah or like but like captain marvel's gone through like 30 fucking changes who cares like it's been so many different people like <laughs> the Falcon is Captain America now. Who like I? It's so such a dumb thing to get upset about. It's stupid. Yeah, Amadeus Cho can actually directly change because he's got nanobots and shit. Yeah, his yeah. thing is just like I'm the Hulk, but better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, also, apparently he's not the Hulk anymore. He's brawn. <laughs> All right. Because he doesn't Hulk out, he just gets brawny. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Hulk Ling and Wiccan are gay together in dating specifically. Cool. Also. Yeah. That's nice. Yep. Also, that's two white characters right there. <laughs> and. Well, like, Hulk Ling. Hulk Ling is green. He's a scroll. <laughs> yeah. No. But I meant like. Oh, Hulk Ling. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh. Also, I just considered Amadeus Cho when I mixed him up as a white kid, which he's not. Nope. He's Asian. He's Asian. But Wiccan is white. So there, we still got white characters. Well, actually, uh, fucking in the comics... Um, Are you really going to say Eastern Europeans aren't white? No, uh, I'm saying I'm actually... Wanda and Pietro in the comics are uh, Romany and Jewish. So... They're actually, you know, a, a different ethnic group. It's close enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Romani people are kind of the last group that, like, people don't call out racism for. Dick Grayson's Romani. Yeah, I, well, I mean, he was a traveling circus man, and that's, like, a common stereotype with them. Yep. I just remember, getting, like, a, a per, an acquaintance from high school who was like, I'm not white. I'm Ukrainian, and it's like, oh, that's why, Okay, that's why. I'm saying, I'm saying that, like, you know, Jewish people kind of, I don't know. Jewish they're, people they're not, are, fall under the realm of white. It's just that for so long that they were pro persecuted against for being yeah. Jewish that it's like you can't really throw them in with being white, but... Well, it's like some people really think you're white when you're Jewish, and some people really don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the side of... You're pretty much just white because <laughs> yeah. it's a, I don't really care. It's like a skin color. You're thing. special white. Like if you if you really want to th fucking split hairs, I would argue we could argue about Italians. <laughs> <laughs> because it, well, because if you're from like northern Italy, you're very pale. But if you're from southern Italy, you look closer to like someone from fucking Mexico. Or gr Greek people look. Yeah, or Greek. Fucking yeah. Jason Manzukis got typecast as, like, a, oh, random terrorist because he's a Greek dude with a huge beard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. That's a complicated por portion. But for whatever racism, reason, for whatever reason in the through. movies, for whatever reason in the movies, Wanda and Pietro are not Jewish or Romani. Yeah, they are catholic <laughs> yeah she has all those crosses on her wall in the, her room yeah. in civil war and it's like Which why not give her stars of david yeah uh yeah or whatever i know people don't use them interchangeably i know they mean different things but even as a if i was a dumb set designer it'd still be like oh this character's jewish but <laughs> yeah it's it's something i think it's she had like a she wore a cross in age of ultron oh uh, yeah, maybe yeah. she did actually. She like she had a necklace on in that that was like There like, is a simple. scene in that movie that takes place in a church where And Ultron also remember Disney, <laughs> the ghost of Walt Disney will show up if you say anything cool about Jewish people. That is true. 
All right, um, let's wrap this bitch up. I already got to run. Yeah. Also, there was a post credit scene. I think we're gonna see my my also take on WandaVision that I'm like just gonna keep slightly like I'm not expecting it, but this is what I think might happen. Um, when Vision gets to uh, Quicksilver, he's going to do his little like turn him thing because I think yeah. Quicksilver is is the Fox Quicksilver but he's being controlled by Agatha. Yeah, and, I yeah. I think he's not at, I think he's a man who has had his mo- like P- Pietro's like mind and memories has been implanted into this like New Jersey Brooklyn guy. Well, I that think it's not, still I think it's still Peter. It's a guy I'm saying it's a guy named Peter, but it's not Pietro. Like it's not biologically him. It's like I think it's actually him from the X-Men universe still cuz there was that Nexus reference which is like, because Wanda is a yeah, nexus maybe, being, and there's a maybe nexus she, of she realities. Can, she like pulled. She can like pull people over from the X Men universe or something. Maybe that's how X Men people will come in. Is that Mephisto is I a think, character from the alternate reality? I think Mephisto, because like Mephisto's the devil. I think he pulled Pietro from the other either reality. Either the the mutants are going to come because of the hex and the after effects, like how Monica got powers, or it's they're just going to show up. Like that's 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 where I, this is going. I think most of the mutants, the what they're gonna do is have the they've always been there, vibe. Um, but then certain mutants like Deadpool and Quicksilver are going to have been pulled from the, the other reality. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But then there's like extreme mutants where it's like there's no way that this guy was like always there, like Colossus. Colossus is a metal man. We well, could just have him have an origin in this universe, or like or. Something or he gets pulled over him. with Deadpool because he's in the Deadpool movie. I think the main cast will be pulled over somehow. Yeah. Like, I, the important I, characters. I don't know, though, because then the problem is you have to commit to, like, those movies having happened. <sighs> but what if they pull it from, like, the original X-Men universe? Like, before they go back and, like, X-Men 1, 2, and... X-Men 1 and 2 happened. They pulled them before 3. Jean Grey is just but dead then we, now. But then we don't have Quicksilver. Fuck. Because <laughs> he first showed up in Days of Future Past. Shit, you're right. This is an issue. Yeah. Oh, man. This is a conundrum. I think we should just pick and choose and act yeah. like it's an alternate universe. And that just so happens I think, to be the one we I have. think we because got Quicksilver from that universe. But... Quicksilver existing be like, oh yeah, well mutants, and then it's like, what are fucking mutants? And it's like, oh well, there's this thing, and then yeah. we realize that thing exists in this world. We just haven't seen them yet. Same all with right, Fantastic well, Four. I think they're all alive. We just haven't I do seen ha- them. Yet. I do have to get going though. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So Thank you so much. Episode. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Uh, please rate, review, subscribe. Uh, you know, uh, fucking. Subscribe to the YouTube, youtube.com slash NAS comedy. If you want to follow me, I'm at the media hole on Twitter. I'm at the media hole on TikTok. And I am uh, twitch.tv slash the media hole. And my Tumblr is when your balls get stuck to your leg. Hey, do grocery. Yeah, change your name. Do grocery stores stop selling beer when the beer store closes or do they just sell beer the whole time? I'm not sure. I don't buy beer ever because I don't drink beer. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, I should ask my mom. She works at one. <laughs> if you follow, if you want to follow Ian, he's at Struggles V on everything. He recently came under fire for uh, being pro Snyder Cut or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> See you next time. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.